but one. to do this. Hello, I am the Ronan Bond, and welcome to a twitch.tv slash Ronan Bond live stream on twitch.tv slash Ronan Bond. Those are the words I used to say. Hello, everybody. I presume, I presume there's not too many people here. I mean, holy shit, there's already a bunch of people here. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and uh, thank you to what, from where I'm sitting, looks like uh, Listapil? Listaplee? I can't, I've, there's too many I's next to L's and <laughs> for the follow one minute over after beginning this. Are you just a bot that, that follows anyone who plays PUBG? Because we're playing PUBG today. The first time in, um, six years? I don't know how long it's been, but it could be half of a decade since I played PUBG on, you know, on the channel, on YouTube, and stuff like that. You can go back and look, youtube.com slash Ronan and see, uh, little highlight reels of when we played PUBG, and it was, you know, when it was out in early access. I own it, by the way. It's a free-to-play game, but I own it. <laughs> uh, and we're playing it, of course, at midnight Eastern time here, because I'm on a vampire sleep schedule, and I haven't live-streamed for, uh, I think over a month. Uh, cause, you know, I've got this little disease thing that tends to come up and do me the- Ooh, this is fun to do, make the mouse go like that, yeah. See, I've got a little bit of a delay, so it's a lot funner for me to do this than it is for you to watch it, and- uh, so I guess probably I shouldn't do it. So before we actually get started, uh, playing PUBG today, um, the thing that I really wanted to do that really got me to be like, alright, let's- let's kick the live stream up and do this is I would like to show you a round that I played um, I think last night. I've been playing a bit of this on my own. Uh, so join me over here in reality. There we go. We're in reality now. This is my real desktop, but you can't see it because I've got a, a film, a movie film. <laughs> a TV movie film is, is ready to go. So I've, um, I, I haven't exported this from PUBG, um, but I have recorded the gameplay. Uh, and what this is, is if you don't know, if you, like me, uh, some time ago stopped playing this game, you can now, like, watch your entire match back from any perspective that you were alive for. You can play the whole damn thing back. They've even got options to export it. I tried that, and, uh, boy, was it gonna tr take, like, six hours. And I'm a video editor over here. I've got a machine that's, that's built in part to encode video, and PUBG is just apparently really bad at it. So instead what I did is I just played it back and, uh, you know, recorded it with OBS, which is going to give us some not great visuals occasionally, uh, considering it will be double encoded. Uh, the live stream is re-encoding the encoding. Oh shit! Oh shit indeed, Dramasian. Hello, and welcome back. The The show must go on. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're oh shitting <laughs> as we land. It's been so long, I feel like there should be more ceremony to just saying hello to Dramasian. Hello, Dramasian! Let's keep saying it for like a half an hour. Remind me in an hour, I'll say hello again. But so I'm landing in an area here that I've never been to before, and this just happened to be in the old map on PUBG. Oh, the grass is going to be, is going to play hell on the encoding. Don't worry, we won't be in this area too long. But so I had never landed over here, and I thought when I looked around that I was coming down alone. And then, of course, we just saw the shadow of someone else's parachute. And uh, I definitely did not come down in this area alone. I don't know why people come down here, because as we're about to find out, there ain't no damn weapons. <laughs> Oh, 
Not yet. I'm still breathing. Uh, thank you, the Butter Doge. Butter Doge? The Butter Doge. That Butter Doge. Which Butter Doge? That Butter Doge. No, not that one. That one. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, out of all the Butter Doges, I'm picking that one. So, here's the smoke I threw earlier, which I threw just because I didn't have a weapon and I wanted to distract people. <laughs> and, uh, apparently one person found a weapon. This whole damn lumber yard had one gun in it. <laughs> and whoever that guy is off to our left has it, and he's taking shots at everybody else. So I'm just trying to stay on the fringes here and see if we can't find a weapon. Uh, we've been alive, I think, for two full minutes now, and I still don't have any weapon of any kind. And the one guy with a gun is shooting. That one guy with a gun is as many shots as it's taking. Might be a bot. There's a lot of bots in PUBG now. <laughs> There's not as many people playing as there used to be. So there's a lot of AI doing the fight. I find no weapon up top, so let's check the bottom. You know, if there's got to be one. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I've actually watched this replay from another angle, and I know that the, the guy who's shooting right now actually got that weapon. There was one weapon. It was in there. He got it. Um, you will notice that you can see the positions of other players. That's because this is a replay. I obviously couldn't see that while I was playing this, so I don't know where these people are. And uh, that's why I'm throwing smoke everywhere I go in the hopes that I can just sneak my way into finding a fucking gun. Oh, thank God. We got one. Mephistopheles, how are you? Oh, it's been so long. Not a game I expected to see you play. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since I played it. But I remember, you know why I came back to it? I remembered that this is a really good game of hide-and-seek. Even if you don't, aren't, you don't, not aren't, won't isn't good at shooting, as I aren't, not, doesn't, okay, so, well, screw it, I'm taking this car, <laughs> and the one guy who has a gun starts shooting at me, uh, I just missed him, no, I didn't, okay, yes, I did, <laughs> I love this round, I just wanted to share this round with you before we actually play some live PUBG, it's just, because it's such a, a crazy round, already we've been going for like four minutes, and uh, three minutes in, I finally found a shotgun. And this area is super populated and super dangerous. I haven't had a weapon the whole time, so I'm just taking the nearest vehicle and getting the hell out. My preferred game of hide-and-seek is Project Zomboy. I don't know that one. I never played it. Uh, mind that... log. Mind that log. Jesus. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm just driving away from all that noise, and uh, let's head over to this uh, mobile home complex that is right next to the nuclear silo. Which, uh, you know, makes the nuclear cooling tower, makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> this is apparently a, uh, you know, late stage capitalism world. The corporation needed power, they didn't care who lived nearby. Fuck it. <laughs> and yeah, there's just this one guy here who's also got a vehicle. Look at this. That was just a brilliant fucking exit, wasn't it? Ah, uh, car's still rolling and I exit directly into the building, so I've immediately got cover. I don't know where this guy is. Now we can see where he is. We can see what gun he's got, too, but I didn't know that at the time. And again, all I've got is this shotgun. Took me four minutes to find the damn thing. Stuck fighting for your life in Kentucky, and it's the zombie apocalypse. Well, then nothing has changed since modern-day Kentucky, is what you're saying. Oh, sorry, Kentucky. I hear you're actually better than everybody thinks. <laughs> but check this out. Look at this move. I just love that I had the, the foresight to move inside the building, knowing that he had gotten in the vehicle and used the building for cover to shoot at him, you know, instead of just running around the uh, side of the building and going at him with the shotgun. Which was my first instinct, and thankfully I... He's shooting at me with a pistol now. Thankfully, I ignored my first instinct and decided instead to try to use the iron sights of a shotgun at distance. <laughs> I'm smart. I know how to. I know how to shoot. <laughs> so I'm just checking this uh, this box, uh, this player crate right there, and this guy has just driven a little bit over there and parked. And, and stopped. No, no, you don't get to do that. Not in my town. You don't. Uh. <laughs> this is why I wanted to show you this round that I played. 
because we've now been dancing with this man for a, for a minute and a half, two minutes now, maybe three minutes, I don't know. We've been dancing with him for a minute. And he's still shooting with his pistol at me from his Jeep. I got a Jeep, he's got a Jeep. We're Jeeping it up together. And at this point I realize, you know, why am I doing I don't have I don't have a way of shooting back at him. Now I could switch to a passenger seat if I weren't playing with a wireless keyboard on my bed. Um, so I don't have numpad, and I think those, it's been so long, I think those, compand, those commands were on, like, the numpad or something. I need to look them up again, and I could rebind them. But, uh, yeah, I realize this is a fight I shouldn't be involved in anyway, and I seem to have scared him off. He's gone away. If we listen... Yeah, can't hear the, his vehicle in the distance anymore, and finally I find a second fucking gun. Unfortunately, it's not a real gun. I mean... <laughs> These, all the guns in this building that I see, anyway, the one ahead of me might be an AK that I just kind of missed. Um, but everything that I see here is either a fucking crossbow, which I'm not going to pick up a crossbow because, as I said, I can't shoot. I'm not going to plan for the drop-off of a bow that I don't know how to... So, it's either that or it's all these um, short-range weapons, which is what I've got now is, uh, you know, I don't, I don't even know what these guns are, but when I've got an extended mat clip for it, and it holds 53, I assume that it's a high rate, high damage rate, short, short range weapon. Uh, oh, but I did find a nice little uh, revolver. So now at least I've got a weapon in every slot, and what's the sound? It's the same guy. He came back. He came back. And I love him for it. I absolutely love this man for it. After this match, I, I went and tried to look him up on Steam and Steam friend him for, for just the fun that we had together, bouncing Jeeps off of each other and circling around one another and taking shots. I took half his health off with a, with a shotgun blast there. But now there he is. He's crossed the way. Remember, I can't... I don't know where he is. I can just hear him moving. We can see, you know, the player icon, but I couldn't while I was playing it. I'm just listening to his footsteps. And now he can hear my footsteps. By the way, this was a third-person perspective server that I decided to play in first person, so he just saw me with TPP. <laughs> I love it. Uh, thank you, Mithril Hawk One. That was absolutely brilliant. That's why I didn't like. I was trying to uh, signal to him, "Thank you. That was wonderful. I loved it." Um, you know, let's let's have an, another date sometime. By waggling up and down, I didn't know what to do. Um, you know, your your first instinct is to teabag, but I didn't want him. I, that's not what I wanted to, <laughs> to say. It was a good. We were equals, and I don't usually run into an equal when I'm playing this game, because everybody's so much better than me. Um, but I feel like we were equals, and we had a really good dance, and, uh, and after our dance, it ended with a, a lovely face-off, you know? A, uh, literal duel. We both knew that each other were there, and we had a, alright, draw moment. And I had the bigger gun. <laughs> but, um... I, I, you know, that was the highlight of this highlight reel. Nonetheless, I'm, I'm a man with a, with a chronic fatigue condition. I figure we can go ahead and watch the rest of this round. And see it out, see what ranking I got to. Right now we're at uh, 36. And we've been here for 11 minutes and 18 seconds. And I get back in the, in the vehicle here. I feel like I'm a pretty good driver. And, uh... Just because I say that while I'm, you know, almost tilting the vehicle over, I mean it. That almost tilting the vehicle over thing is the kind of thing you want to be doing. Look, at, see how I'm weaving back and forth? You need to be serpentining uh, when you're driving. You want to imagine always that there's somebody who's run out into the road behind you, and they're trying to line up a headshot through your rear window. And if you keep that in mind, then you just always got to keep making little uh, unpredictable movements. It's also good to change your speed regularly. 
don't just hold down forward. You know, a sniper uh, trying to hone in on you horizontally. We'll have a lot more trouble if uh, if your rate of movement keeps keeps changing up on them. Looks like an empty house here, so I'm getting bandaged up from my encounter with Mithril Hawk One. Who, if you're out there, Mithril Hawk, you know, uh, DM me. <laughs> Let's start a clan. <laughs> I had such a good time dancing with Mithralog. <sighs> when I say let's start a clan, I don't mean it, of course, because um, I believe now that PUBG is, is free to play, um, starting a clan would be the kind of thing you have to pay for. <laughs> How's the audio, actually? Let me just check. Are we fully up? Yeah, we're fully up. When we actually get in and start playing uh, a new round, I'm probably going to have to turn the graphical settings down. Uh, I imagine what you're seeing right now is already a little bit in and out in terms of quality levels. Live encoding. But when I... Uh -oh. When I add a top, the, uh, you know encoding demand that we'll actually be playing the game, so it'll be rendering it as well. It's gonna be a lot of GPU draw. Back in the vehicle. I believe right here my thought was, uh, that my main deal is I want to, we just got a new white circle, new safe zone to move into, and because this guy's there I figure he's getting out. Yeah, and he's going to shoot from behind me, so again, just little adjustments. Keep moving that steering wheel so that they can't get a bead on where your head would be. But my thought was, uh, new white circle, I want to get going in its direction as quickly as possible. Um, because nobody knew where the center of it was going to be until now. So, let's get there before everybody else starts moving toward it. And then I see this house. And I say, okay, this is going to be my, uh, my camping spot for, <laughs> for this wave. I mean, I'm still pretty under-equipped, so I need to be searching, you know. It did take us the first four minutes of the round just to get a shotgun, and the next ten minutes before I had my second weapon, so... It'd be good. If we could find some better weapons and equip ourselves, especially if we could find a sniper rifle or just a regular assault rifle. Something that's got some, you know, medium to long range capability. And this is a house that definitely could have people in it. The doors are open, somebody's been through here once before. It's a house that has one of those, uh those decks on it where, you know, somebody might want to put up and just lay there and snipe, so even though I haven't heard anybody walking, it's concerning to me that uh, this door is open right here, and before I go out there and find out if somebody's in a corner, I'm going to clear the rest of the house. As so long as I don't hear movement, I, you know, I'm feeling good about it's probably empty. Still checking my corners and stuff. And then I'm using this window in order to get another view on that patio. Because that would be where I would be if I had been here all game, you know, not trying to snipe or something. And unfortunately I found out right here that if somebody were out there, I would have just given them a really good shot at my stomach. Um, because of the way that you stand on top of that couch. I, I didn't expect to... Uh, silhouette myself in that way, I meant to be able to see and aim. I'm just staying low to stay out of sight of anybody who might be around. And, uh, having cleared this house out, what do I do now? You know, we're into the top 20 here. Here's an idea. How about I just stand on this bed and try and get an idea of what the hell's going on out there? 
I got three different directions of view. I picked up a four times scope off of uh, Mithril Hawk One's corpse. Yeah, it's tempting. It's always tempting to shoot out the tires of a vehicle, but uh, sometimes you don't want to let everybody know where you are, huh? Switching between full auto and single. We're not going to camp here too long. You know, I don't like to be super boring. Sometimes I'm eating and I'll be boring. <laughs> you know, it's just... It's just not that hard to, uh, you know, sneak your way around and make it to third or fourth rank without knowing how to shoot. Now, I hear the vehicle, but I'm more interested in if anybody starts shooting at the vehicle. Because I certainly don't have a weapon that could uh, hit a moving target at that distance. Oh, hello. Okay, now I want you to watch about two inches below where I shoot, and now. Did you see the poof? <laughs> The drop-off on a shot with this gun from this far away. <laughs> I think it hit about 50 to 100 feet <laughs> short of the man I was aiming. At the time I took the shot, I couldn't even see the poof. I couldn't even tell where it had landed. And we got another vehicle. And it looks like that guy I was shooting at earlier, which was a bot. It was absolutely a bot. Nobody stands in the road like that except for the bots. Uh, looks like the bot didn't have such a good time. And he's been here long enough doing nothing, so... At this point, I'm trying to, like, draw people out, see if I can't get somebody to move around, have some looks, that kind of a thing. So, shooting at the tires of a car, thinking maybe there's a guy in this building. Maybe I'll see him in one of the windows. No, fuck it. Just sit here for a couple of minutes. You know, we got, we got a new white circle I gotta move into. And since we do have a new circle that I need to move into, I need to start getting into a position where I could start moving toward it. My uh, backpack at this point was completely full. I think I got a level two there. Checking to see if there's anything going on in the direction that I'm going to be heading. I hear a lot of shooting, but it's off to the left and to the right. Long time no see, that butter doge? Indeed, I mean, it's been a long time no see for me and everybody. Uh, I've been feeling good the past couple of days. Health has been feeling better. And why, though, the fur fur? Uh, PUBG been so long I've played this, it actually doesn't look the same. And this is the same map from back in the day, but they've got so many new maps that I had, I have never seen before. In fact, right now is, there's an event going on because uh, they've got a new map called Rondo, I think. If I'm interpreting the, uh, the event announcements correctly, and so I've been playing on that a little bit, but... This just so happened to be one of the few times that I've seen the old original map. So now we're moving toward the, the new safe zone. And yeah, there are shots taking place, you know, in places. And there's a car. 
This is if you're gonna watch PUBG footage, you really should be in headphones, you know. <laughs> know what I was hearing. And here comes that uh, blue zone of death, so I gotta move faster and oh shit. I know more or less where he was shooting from, so I'll just put that tree between me and him, and luckily somebody else just killed him. And somebody killed <laughs> the other guy who had started shooting at me, I believe. <laughs> I'm getting very lucky here, and I have no idea. This is a playback. If you're just tuning in, this is a uh, recording of a match played back where we can see the enemy's positions and everything like that. It's a feature of modern PUBG. And I'm throwing out some smoke to create a path for me to actually move forward where I'm not just running through an open field. Last time I played was the first time they had a map other than this one. Well, they got a bunch of them now. They've even got like 64 player maps that are really small, which I think they came up with uh, to cope with the, um, you know, drop-off in player base. So sometimes if the game can't find 100 people to play with you, they'll it'll load up a 64-player map instead. I hate those, by the way. Because, uh, you know, you have to be good. You're going to encounter people very quickly, and uh, you have to be able to shoot those people. Uh, and I, I still, to this day, cannot shoot. Uh, though I might be getting better because I just figured something out um, the other day. It just occurred to me. I didn't look it up, I didn't find out from anyone else, but it just occurred to me. I should be able to reduce my mouse sensitivity in-game. And that'll make it easier to, you know, target and control. And I went looking for it, and indeed, that was there. But in addition, what was there was the ability to set my mouse sensitivity for the different scopes that you can pick up. They ever had a gulag? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. Um, uh -oh. But so I set the mouse sensitivity for the different scopes, so when you snap into, like, a 8 times scope, you know, it. the mouse sensitivity goes... I've got it set so it goes way down, so that, you know, maybe you could actually track somebody. Uh, it's not Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, does Call of Duty have a gulag? Is that the reference? I don't know shooters at all. Although on my desktop now, just for this icon, I made a fences, um, uh, whatever you'd call it, uh, the, the program for, for Windows that gives you little squares that you can sort of organize your icons. It's called fences. I made a fences gate that, uh, is just called shooters. <laughs> So at this point, I'm just, I don't know what to do, like, I haven't seen anybody, I don't know where they are, I need to either draw people out, I don't feel good just sitting here and waiting for the good players to come and kill me. So at least I can go running out to wait for the good players to kill me. I was third alive there. Um, it was down to me and the last two guys, and that happens a lot. Because <laughs> I'm pretty good at hide-and-seek uh, in this game, and, uh, and I can shoot, you know, I... I've got a lot better chance if you put a shotgun or uh, an SMG in my hands. And now we can inspect the uh, <laughs> the two players that were still alive at the end of my round here. In Call of Duty Warzone, if you die, you go to the Gulag and have a chance at a 1v1 respawn. Oh, I do. I am aware of that. Yeah, actually, I had a lot of fun watching Cheese playing uh, Call of Duty I presume Warzone, because it had that. Uh, you know, I like watching people who are good at shooters. Um, now, if I were one of them. <laughs> so that was the match that I wanted you all to see, and now I will begin the incredibly long process of opening Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. That sound you just heard was me hitting enter. It is now loading. I'll let you know when it when it comes up. If that's the sound you get for third place, whew. <laughs> that's why you get the long one. You get the long one because you, you ranked. You got bronze there. 
yeah, I, um, I don't know. I've tried to get good at shooters. I don't want to, like, uh, it's still opening, by the way. There's no sign of it yet. <laughs> um, I don't feel like I wanted to learn, I don't know. I don't want to go on YouTube and watch videos about, you know, how to this, that, and the other thing, when you should push and whatnot. Hang on, it's starting to come up. Oh, hi, Mickey. I forgot we had that here. Um, I just, I would rather, like, get good by, by playing the game. Okay, it's up, but it's not being captured. Uh, I've got something set up wrong here, so give me a second. There she blows. I'm in a black screen right now, so I don't know if it's capturing yet. Come on, baby. Yeah, I don't just want to be told. Hmm. I'm not in a black screen anymore. Capture specific window. Hmm. You might have a problem with this. Let's see. Uh, capture any full screen app. <laughs> it's up right now. I've got all the music, the in-game music, uh, off. So that's why we're not getting any sound. Um, hey, it, okay, it just took an age to kick in. All right, all right. We'll see if this, this is the first time that I've set up for, you know, PUBG at all uh, for a live stream in, in years, and I've got all of the settings cranked the hell up. So if we go to the graphics, um, yeah, lobby cap. But, uh, high, high, ultra, 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 high, medium, disable, enable. Boy, I thought I had just set everything to, to super high. We're going to try around with this, and you guys need to tell me, uh, how I'm doing, basically. Or, you know, how the stream works out. We'll leave things as they are for now. Um... I have the feeling I might want to turn up the game audio. For you guys, because I usually have a negative five. Yeah, I've got a negative four decibel thing on it, so I'm gonna bump it up to you're hearing exactly what I'm hearing now. Uh, in, uh, incidentally, in terms of um, the in game music that I like, uh, where do you select that? Audio. I've got HRTF disabled right now. I've been trying to see if one of them works better for me than the other, and so I'm just finding it out. That is the song I like, Land Loot Survive. It's, um, it's catchy. It's catchy. What is HRTF? That is a different way of the game representing directional audio. So if somebody's shooting you from ahead left, it will sound different than from behind left. Uh, and uh, HRTF is supposed to be better at it, but it makes the, the sound of people walking a lot louder, and it changes the sounds of guns is what I've heard. But mainly I'm just trying it the other way to see if I do better. <laughs> So we'll see if I do better. Um, I could play third person or first person. Let's play third person. I'm going to play in first person because that's the way that I like to play. Also, because the game is free to play now, there's stuff for just showing up. I get to claim a Rondo emblem. So, yeah, whatever the hell that's worth. Um... There's all those features that help them make money and fund the servers. I do not begrudge them for going free-to-play. Once the player base starts to disappear, it's just a way of keeping uh, the community alive, keeping the game alive a little bit longer for the people who want to play it. 
you guys go. Wait a second, there's more? Let's say I've earned something else. Holy shit, 10,000 BP. Because I've played three days in a row. All right, I don't know what that's useful for, but I am I'm encouraged to continue playing because of it. A spatial processor, yeah. And I, I think I... I think some people, instead of using HRTF, um, enable, like, Windows has a surround sound thing, spatial processor, I guess, that you can turn on. I haven't turned that on. I'm just flipping it on and off, you know, to see if uh, I feel like I can tell quicker where the shots are coming from. For the first several days that I was playing coming back to this game, I didn't realize that my um, my headphone jack was in a little bit cockeyed, and I wasn't getting stereo at all. <laughs> it was getting mi mono and stereo were getting mixed together. Or, I mean, the stereo was getting mixed together into a mono signal that had features of stereo, but wasn't stereo. So I thought I was just like, you know, something's broken in my brain. And it turned out, no, you just need to jiggle the cables. That Butter Doge wanted to play PUBG so much when I was younger, but my laptop couldn't play it at all. Yeah, it was a really heavy game, so you guys let me know once we get in here and start playing whether or not the live stream can handle it. I might find out, find out on my end if the game, you know, stutters or something in gameplay. see what map they got us on. The original? Holy crap. I figured, like, you know, this is... It's actually been quite rare. I play first person. Quite rare to see the original map in my experience so far, so, um... Something of a treat to, uh, come back to the game and, uh... And get to see it in this mode. Hmm? Ryzen process The FX processors couldn't handle it back then? I can believe it. Oh, where's the soccer balls? Uh, if you haven't been around in a while, then you might not know that they have soccer balls now. Uh, I don't know where I kicked it. I didn't. There we go. <laughs> A little boredom nullifier. There aren't any guns, uh, you know, in the loading area anymore. Like it used to be. They don't do that. They just give you soccer balls and let you run around. And we're going to play a little soccer with her, apparently. Yeah, it's really hard to get, like, the jump that goes up. No? Okay, we're not going to play soccer. Not with her, anyway. It's a really, like, touchy timing to actually... You can get under the ball with your foot and kick it up, but it's really touchy. Uh, you just watched a video about how they killed this game? If anything killed this game, or, you know, if anything is killing this game... Oh my god, the cheaters. Um, PUBG now does a weekly list of all of the accounts that they have banned. Because it's free to play, so you can just make a new account, make a new account, make a new account. So there's just so many cheaters. Remember, I think the loss will be with you. Always. I think I put it on the roof. <laughs> you. you paid for the game too, nerd god. Me as well. So... <laughs> Now it's free to play. Uh, I think there were some bonuses for me logging in, and it's like, since we went free to play and you paid for the game, here's some cool shit. I don't know what that cool shit was, so it must not have been that cool. But yep, the good old map, Pachinki, and everything. Probably give us a shirt or something, yeah. Nothing that I uh, kicked into. Now the way that I like to do this is try and go to... A place that I don't think everybody's going to go to, so let's try there. 
That's probably everybody's going to do. Let's go. The big map. If you hold shift, you dive faster. Okay, there's my target. And if you hold alt, you can look around without changing your direction. Let's see if there's anybody coming down. There's somebody coming down near me. Where's my... Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> now I'll hold shift. Uh, yep. Somebody coming down in that complex. So they took that house. I'm going to take this one. Pretty good friggin' entrance, huh? Okay, this is not the kind of gun that I want to have if he runs over here. So I'm going upstairs in case he does run over here. Nope, reload. Okay, I got something that shoots. What do I have? UMP45. I... I'll stick with it. Yeah, I'll stick with it. Give me the smoke grenade, anyway. But yeah, I will not use the TPP mode, just because I don't. I don't. What are you looking at? <laughs> so there's going to be situations where you're going to be sitting there going, you could, you should have, why didn't you? And all that kind of thing. And uh, it's going to be because I just don't, I don't switch. I do not switch. Yeah. Oh! Through the door, right? Yeah, destroyed the door. Have I got heals? Indeed. I don't really have anything that I can deal with this guy with. Um... Ah, uh, you can't go up. <laughs> See, I didn't realize. On this map, they got the thin windows, uh, and the new maps, almost all of the windows you can jump through. So, I don't play this map that much, and uh, I forgot, yeah. These windows can't get out of. I knew he'd be able to see me as soon as I stood up. <laughs> I just expected to be through the window before he could, he could kill me. Uh, mousing and aiming stuff, I, I'm certainly not at all good at it, but it doesn't bother me anymore. I don't know. Shoot the windows out. You don't have to shoot them out. If you can, uh, get through them, you just stand in front of them, press space, and you'll jump through them. But this, this old map, I don't think they had that as a functionality originally in the old map. And, uh, so it's got a lot of windows where, maybe they did, but I don't think they had that as a thing. Um... There are some windows on this old map that you can go through, but uh, those are the ones that are just a little bit too skinny, and it's almost uh, a pisser that they make them just a little bit too skinny. You know, you you have to get the experience of having having run up to them and bounced off of them before you realize, oh, right, I see. Okay, I can tell, yeah. This is six inches smaller than the other. So, here's a new map, though. Here is, in fact, this month's new map. Rondo. And, uh, you know, let's run. I'm gonna take the inside lane. <laughs> they added it with this map, and it was always bad. I remember one guy vaulting and being sent to the top of the skybox. Really? So they added the window thing onto the old map and the physics didn't quite work because it was tacked on after the fact. So this is Rondo. This is the new map. The main feature here is there's a, uh, there's a automotive testing facility in the middle of the place. And since it is in the middle, it tends to come up a lot. I'm gonna go like there. 
Don't shift it. Uh, give me the big map. You guys let me know if you don't want chat up, too. I'll just try and find a place where I'll be at peace long enough to... Hi! As I'm talking about being at peace. At peace long enough to, you know, get myself situated. Where the hell are these houses that I was in? Oh, I could come down on the roof, apparently. What do we got? If I'm alone, then I don't have to worry. I should worry anyway. What are you? I'm taking all of it. I like, I like the, um, fact, first thing I'm gonna load is the, uh, sawed-off. Sawed-off I have gotten some kills with. Excuse me? What did you pick up that I didn't want, then? Don't know. Alright. Thumb grip, I think. What that was. And we got some armor. Anything else in a place that you gotta climb to or something, you know? Skilled player, you know? <laughs> it wouldn't be skilled, it'd just be somebody who takes the time to look around, which would probably be an unskilled player. See, that's what I was expecting to happen last time. <laughs> what kind of thing was that? Extended. Well, let's go ahead and load this gun that I haven't even bothered with yet. Uh, back to the sawed off, please. I am a door closer. I'm sure it's going to piss a lot of people off, and hopefully, you know, that, that, that'll, that'll be a good thing. It'll keep you watching. Oh, yeah. The M416. Only problem is all the bullets. Nope. What else we got? I don't want to fill my bag up with bullets. As I said, I'm not much of a shooter. Alright, a little bit of 12 gauge. Yeah, 12 gauge takes up a lot of room, and in fact, here we are. That's why I didn't want to. What kind of backpack have I got? None. That'd be the problem there, Pawn. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I just need a backpack. You guys got a bathroom in this place? Another thumb grip. No backpack in the... I, I always keep my backpack in the... in the bathroom. Alright, there's another building. I can come back for the health pack. And we're not that far outside the, uh, the white zone. Ooh, alright, scope. Four times. Yep, on the M16, that's where I'd want it. And smoke grenade with a launcher. It's, uh, it's neat to have, thank you. But, uh, no. The suppressor? Is that for the M416? It is. And some more 5.56. I'll take the smoke. And don't even need to go back in for, for the med kit. I still will. It's such a cool, like, new, weird weapon that I am frequently tempted to take it anyway. Mm -hmm. You, and to hell with it, I'll take the gas in case we come across something that can fly. I have never done that, by the way. Uh, so wait a second, before you go out there, Pawn. Yes. Could you familiarize yourself with your weapons? What the hell is this? I picked up two M416s. Well, I'm just a boss. <laughs> I didn't realize that I picked up two of them. One's a suppressor, one's a flash hider. Both are thumb gripped. One of them's got an extended mag. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't, I don't need that. Four times scope, thumb grip, suppressor, extended mag. We'll keep that. And then what are you? The scar. All right. I will treat the scar as my mid range and the 416 as my long, I guess. So, I'm gonna start moving. Uh, again, you could have, like, checked the map before you stepped outside and put yourself in a place where you could get shot. Looks like we're going straight north to that. Yeah. 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 
Okay. Let's go. What the hell is that? Well, that's your marker. Even if I could find a vehicle on this road, uh, don't want one right now. I would take a bike. They have bicycles, collapsible bicycles in this game now. Put the optic on the SCAR then. Really? You think the SCAR is better than the M416? Is that right? I don't really know these guns. You th uh, the SCAR is, has less drop-off than the 416? Uh, that butter doge? We're in the zone, running along the road. Just talking about not wanting a vehicle. I shouldn't really be near the road. I dropped a reflex. Should have put it on the scar. Oh, okay, something. I don't even know what you mean by a reflex. <laughs> Um, you mean like a, a red dot sight or something like that that I dropped? Yeah, that was on the M4. The other M416 did have a, a something. A holographic sight, yeah. You're right. I just didn't think of it. I'm sure we'll run into one. As long as I stay alive. Wait. There we go. I have completed the prostrations. <laughs> Where the hell am I going? It's still... Uh, yeah, you're only halfway there on foot. You know, let me get in a bush and just scout this area with my four times. Nope. Just have a look ahead, see what we're going toward. See how slow the movement is on the four times now? It's the amount of... it might be a bad amount, I might need to put more on to it, but this is me moving my mouse like all the way across. In fact, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust. Usually when I play this I change my, um, my mouse pad from a vertical orientation to a horizontal, so I've got more left to right movement, so now from one side to the other I can do that. Whoa, <laughs> that is a lot of movement. Um, but yeah, I don't see anything out here anyway. Uh, let's go check out what's in this, uh... What might be in here. And I'll pull the scar just in case it's a person. Nope. I told you I'm a door closer. One thing that they never changed, apparently, in this game is, uh, how absolutely horrible the fucking doors respond to, uh, you know, you being close enough to touch them. <laughs> that did not come up, apparently. You gotta remember, my 416's on two. Two, 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 two. Can I switch that gun to semi-auto? The SCAR or the 416? SCAR. Single. Full. Single. And then... 416 would be the one to be on single for me. I'm going full auto with this guy uh, if I need him, and then the I'm leaving them both on full auto until I'm in a position where I'm actually using the scope for something. Oh, hello. I finally got to the buildings I was coming to. Door is open. People have been here previously. Are they still here? Most of the doors are shut. Could be a guy who just set up to snipe up here. I'm moving in. I'm carrying my sawed off. I'm 
my door closer. Yep, I got butt protection now. Another thumb grip. What is this? Ooh, a flash hider. And it's done. Boy, I really should have paid more attention to this, but that the door wasn't open on that one. And, uh, that's why I didn't. Still should have. That's a pretty good entrance for me. Oh, hey. A pistol. No, 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 no. That replaces my sawed-off. I don't want the sawed-off replaced. I wasn't thinking, it's hard to think of the sawed off as a pistol. But boy, is it. See me jumping there for the window? And there's that sight that we wanted back. And, ooh, heavy stock. We're, we're nicely kitted now. Oh, I thought that would be a bathroom. Nothing else in here that I would want? Is that right? Is that really right? I'm kind of, um... I don't like standing here. Yeah, I want the smoke. I don't know. Pick it up. That's why I clicked on it, silly boy. Okay. Actually... So, you, full auto. I just want him to hear my, my movement, if there's somebody in there. Oh, shit. It's okay, it's one of the early ones. Is that a... No. I thought it was an SR. Sniper rifle. Um, yep, another energy drink. And since we're now in the blue, let's have a painkiller. And an energy drink. And is this the weapon I'm going to be holding? As a move? Might be. I wouldn't mind having another look around to see if there's, uh, before we go. I don't know how far away I am from where I need to be. Really? Also, there could still be a dude up there, waiting. If there is, I'm just gonna be serpentining. And ducking occasionally. Alright. If he's letting me get this far away, then he's either not there, or he's got a sniper rifle. Should grab the one, the gun by the table. Uh, was it the one that I looked at? That was on the ground, so probably not, huh? I tend to, once I get kit kitted with, you know, something, I tend to just stop even considering replacing it with anything, which is a bad idea. Uh, you know, I should be replacing it. I, I do occasionally, I just, I definitely have that tendency to be like, all right, well, fuck it. Because I'm not a shooter, you know, I am not a guy, if I end up in a, you know, I have to shoot you kind of a battle, things have already gone wrong. <laughs> it's not that they've gone wrong, but that I'm probably going to lose, so I don't spend a lot of time considering what my best uh, weapon might be. Uh-oh. Yep. Yep. I think he's behind me. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you just hit the, uh, the tree. I put the tree between me and him. And 
I was distracted by the guy who was shooting behind me enough to not even think to check my corners as I walked into that building. However, I can uh, have some faith. Ah, oh, shoot. The guy's got a car here. Yeah, that's what I was, that was, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, the guy who was trying to shoot me from distance behind... Yeah, see? This is... These are the fucking people who are actually good at the game. I had no, no chance in hell. Although, it's pretty... Here we go again! It's pretty bullshit that a person who is good at the game like this, jumping in and out of the car instead of just trying to run him over, that kind of thing. Maybe I'm giving him too much credit. Um, I was gonna say... It's unlikely for them to be sitting in a building not making noise, which is what he was doing the whole time that I was running up to him. While I was dodging bullets out there, he was just sitting and waiting for me to come. Good players don't usually sit and wait for you to come to them. Yeah, that is a nice looking car, isn't it? This is the Rondo map, and this is part of, you know, their whole deal. They've got uh, the, the car test facility on this map. So you've got these really nice vehicles. See, now that's what I could have done when I was having that battle with the uh, dude in the clip that I started the, the show with. If I had the keyboard, if I knew what control I could use, I, I think it was numpad. was how you used to change seats. Uh, and I don't have that on this little wireless Logitech. <laughs> Blow in the hole. Yeah, this guy's pretty good. Um, so it's surprising for a level 310, you know, good player that uh, they actually just sat there and waited for me to run up to the building and then shot me from a corner. Good players don't play fucking camper like that, especially not on unranked matches. So, this is kind of an oddity, I would say. I thought this game had beat up jeeps and stuff. Yeah, most of the maps, that's what you get. And even here, in Rondo, I don't believe that uh, this is the only car. Okay, maybe he's not as good as they Maybe he's just aggressive. <laughs> maybe they're just aggressive. They're not my bro. I think we made it in the top 20 there. It's also almost surprising to see someone not cheating. <laughs> there are times you watch your death playback and find somebody who like was looking 120 degrees away from you and then suddenly swings to a lot on and you know behind them in order to one shot you in the head. No, 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 Jamason. I don't think this is a cheater. I think they're. Uh, I think they're just good. Right there, there's clearly no auto-aim. Although I will say this, um, with some of the cheats that I'm aware of, the hacks that you can do, uh, you can know when you are being watched. You can know when someone's spectating you so that you can stop using the cheats. So there is that you always have to consider. One of the things you can look for, though, to see if they're cheating in a subtle way is how much, um, how much, like, 
what do you call it? I'm thinking in terms of airsoft, and I want to say hop up, but that's not what, that's not even what I'm what what I'm talking about. Uh, how much you know recoil they have uh, on their shots? Now a good player can uh, you know knows how much to drag the mouse away for each individual weapon that they might be using at any given time. So the vertical recoil is not necessarily as easy to read. Uh, and know whether you've got a cheater, but there's the horizontal recoil, you know, there should be a little bit of left to right, depending on what they've got on the gun, um, and when you don't see any, that's a cheat as well. It's a recoilless hack. But I doubt that I'd be able to pick it out if I knew it, if I saw it, because I am not a shooter. I play this game for hide-and-seek. We're down to just the six, six last folks. See, and this is, like, I can play like this. I have, obviously not this good, but I have played, um, you know, where you just keep moving constantly and you're constantly doing duck. <laughs> you pop up, pop down, you're always left and right, and you're always shuffling your feet kind of a thing. I have played like that. And definitely, you know, can be better. Uh, you can do a lot better with it. But um, the amount of fucking psychological engagement that is necessary uh, is just more like more energy than I want to put into it, it. It ends up feeling like I'm working at a game I'm playing. I don't want to. Uh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> So I will do that exclusively when I get into a situation where it's like, okay, you know, maybe I got a chance to win this one or something like that. Last couple of minutes here, maybe I will do the, you know, dodge and weave and shuffle, make sure that nobody gets a free headshot on me. But uh, I just don't think it's worth it for you know, the enjoyment of the game. Yeah, at this point, there's not a lot you could really need, you know? We're down to the last four people alive. Uh, all you could really want is some health packs, if you don't already have six of them. He's only got a jammer pack, so... I believe the jammer pack is equal to the level two backpack. Okay, guys, come on, wrap it up. Mm -hmm. I figured for the, you know, for my, for this old heart, we'd watch the round end. But, uh, you know, if the four of you are going to stay alive for another 12 minutes, uh, I got better places to be. <laughs> wrap it up. I was gonna say, at least our guy is playing for fun, driving around instead of, like, you know, being prone in a bush, waiting for the circle to close, and looking for the last... Oh, holy shit! That's a really good spot. I hope somebody else shoots him. Yeah, I was gonna say, you need to get shot for, for hanging your head out that window and taking that many shots. Somebody needs to clock you right now. player who is up there, if they are still up there. Is gonna have a hell of a time with the closing bubble. And uh, they shot out the tires on this vehicle. just damage from getting out of the car at speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say I head right from what I just heard. And we're 
in the blue. Pretty nice play. I got killed by the winner of the round, so it means that my 26th was actually equivalent to 8. Okay. Alright, yep, thank you. <laughs> and I got killed by the level 310 winner of the round, who was of all fucking things, sitting perfectly still in a warehouse waiting for me to run up to them. That's, that's bullshit, you know, in, <laughs> on a whole nother level. Whole nother layer of bullshit right there. Good players don't fucking sit and wait for you to, I should have at least heard them moving and then they jump out and they, they, you know, snipe me. They one shot kill me because they're a good player, but. Sit and wait. Come on. Come on now. Uh, nonetheless, we have earned uh, a little something. For surviving for four minutes, I get a loot cache. Uh, and as a matter of fact, as a special treat... How many of these things have I got? Because I don't really open them. Uh, we got 35 of them. We're going to open 10 loot caches live on stream. Oh my god. Everybody, subscribe, follow me over in my Twitter account, my social media. <sighs> Open 10. Okay, we got 5, 5, 20, 20, 50. We just got a bunch of coin from that. All right, that was, let's do another 10 uh, for, the, for the lulls, for the hype, for the... And just a bunch more coins. Oh, there's three. <gasps> hey, I got something. Uh... We got the rare Surf's Up tee imprint. Now, you might look at that and say, Oh, cool, he got a t-shirt from playing the game and collecting the loot packs, and it was rare, but he got something. No, I didn't get a t-shirt. That is the imprint so that I, I could potentially craft the t-shirt at some point later in my life. Cool. Thank you. That's, that's great. Where did it go? It should be in here. It should... Where... Shouldn't it be in here? In my, in my craftable stuff? In my... Is it special crafting? I, I do not understand any of this shit. This free-to-play bullshit. I thought I understood a little bit of it. I just got a thing. And then... And then we clicked and confirm, and then it should be listed in here with the other imprints that I've gotten. I would make this. I think this actually kind of looks good on my girl. Uh, you know, I'm going for a certain thing. You know what? It doesn't look good now in comparison to what I've got going on. It doesn't look good to me anymore. Go back to play and see. She's got these nice, like, red high tops. Uh, and the regular, and then the, the strap thing there. I, I like what I've got going on right now. So, um, let's play, uh, FPP round. Which will be different in no way whatsoever. Because I play in first person mode, regardless. <laughs> but, you know, the players we'll be playing against will probably be better, actually. I don't, I don't know how that breaks down. If the better people play FPP or play TPP, um... I have played mostly FPP, uh, mostly on the first-person perspective uh, maps, because that's the way that I want to play. Oh, stretching out my legs here. Uh, and I just now started tinkering around with, hey, I'll play FPP in TPP. Why not? Oh, look at all the nude men. Um, where's the fireworks? Hey, that's my ball. It's my ball now. <laughs> where's the fireworks? So what you do is you ignite the firework and then you do that. And you go over the top of it and you get a firework up your ass. <laughs> Uh, 
Alright, so here's another map that we haven't seen yet today. Uh, what is this one? I don't know. It's, it's, it's that Asian one with the stadium. No, it's the same one. It's Rondo again. Okay, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. That's basically what I have to say. I don't. We could go to the test, let's go to the test track. Immediately killed by one of these. Let's go to the test track. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'm holding shift, uh, and that makes you fall as fast as you can possibly fall. We are at terminal velocity here. My time zone is eastern. So it is one something in the AM here. Uh, how are we doing in terms of being alone? Are you kidding me? Is it just because I'm the only person who knows to hold down shift? Because that could be the case. <laughs> uh, any weapon? I don't know what it is, but it's a weapon. <laughs> and we'll get some fire. And sure, sure. Backpack, butt protection, health. Um, yes, I like I like little stuff like this. It. If I'm going to encounter someone, uh, spray and pray is is gonna work out for me far more likely than anything else. Mm. Ooh. We'll take the taser. I've never stunned anyone with it, but there's a stun gun now. I think it's got three shots uh, by default. Hey, there's a four times scope and a nice vest. Is it a level two vest? No, nope, just, just a vest. I didn't have a vest. Okay, we've got our choice of some, some actual weapons here. Here's the level two. Um, what are you? QBZ. You guys can tell me what I should be carrying. There's another four times scope. Are you kidding me? I have a... Where is it? I have a scope on my SMG. I have a four times scope on my SMG, everybody. Um, okay, this is just a single shot. So this is my distance weapon, huh? What the hell are you even holding, Pawn? I don't know. It's, uh, it's obviously, it's a kaboo. It's a kaboo. Mm-hmm. Sounds very far away, I'll tell you that. Um, my first gun is a sniper. Good! Um, I mean, that is what I tend to go for, is I want a really short-range weapon, I want a really long-range weapon. Um, which, by the way... Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
I'm not where I want to be. Ah! I, I swear to God, I had both of my... I'm right and left clicked fully, and none, no of the, none of the fucking bullets came out. <laughs> like, this game, I feel like there's some kind of ping issue or something. That, like, I crouched there, I got down, I right and left clicked, and... Let's see if, let's see if I, like, got a shot off from his perspective, because... The game is so bullshit. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that butter does. That's why I uh, switched down to uh, the two times scope <laughs> instead of the, the four times from the SMG. It was kind of silly, huh? In three, two, one. Fire! No, didn't, didn't, didn't get a shot off from his perspective either. It's just kind of, I don't know. Uh, one of the reasons why I don't even try to play this game as, as a person who can shoot is because I don't think it works as a shooter particularly well. I think the people who are good at it have figured out how to make it work as a shooter somehow, or are just cheating. Uh, most of them are. I mean, that's not, that's not just, you know, I'm not good so I call everyone a cheater. No, actually, statistically, the majority of players... <laughs> I ain't kidding either. But, uh... But yeah, I don't, I don't know that it actually works particularly well as a shooter. Um, let's go back to TPP. we just bounce back and forth for the hell of it. Um, like, there have been so many rounds where I go into my replay to say, so, what the fuck? I just shot that person two times in the head and two times in the body, and they're still standing. What the fuck happened? Like, I... I just shot, I saw the blood stain emerge on their eyeball from where I just shot them, and they killed me? What the fuck? And, uh, at least in that instance, um, I literally did 99 damage on that player instead of 100. I shot them in the head twice, one of them was directly in the eyeball, and two others were in the body. It was a very close proximity kind of a thing. And at least in that instance, I can, you know, console myself that it came down to luck of the fucking draw. Um, hey, welcome to Vikendi, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, it came down to luck of the draw, uh, in that I was one damage point away from killing them. Although, from my perspective, since I was, uh, stood up and looking down on them... Uh, yeah, by the way, you can underhand throw... Or you can overhand throw. Um, yeah, from my perspective of knowing that I just put a bullet through their eyeball, uh, it did still feel a little bullshitty. So, this is actually a new map we haven't seen today. So we've seen three maps then. We've seen Rondo, we've seen the original map, and Kut Katang, whatever it was that I had just said that I can't remember because it was multiple seconds ago. <laughs> How could you possibly ask me to recall what I said multiple seconds ago? I think that's where I'm headed. And I wait until I'm about, you know, basically 90, and then I go. And I can never really pick out where my mark is, but apparently I'm going straight at it. So there's the road crossing, and then, okay, I see it now. See if anybody's coming with me. As of yet. Train station. Train station? Is there on the map there's a train station? You want me to go to, a, go to the train station? I will if I can, if I can figure it out. Oh, come down on the wrong side of the fucking fence, why don't you? Hey, already a four times scope. Does it go with this gun? Nobody cares. Uh, the M16 or the M416? I'll take the M16 for now. 
I don't have a backpack yet, right? Nope. But there are now some things that I'm saying I might want. Can we two times scope? I'm going to guess that we want to do something like that. <gasps> the bike! Oh, I want the bike. Uh, yeah, we're in the right gun. We're on the right mode. I need a disco doctor. I don't need bullets. I need the ability to carry bullets. There we go. Now I need bullets. Bring me bullets. Oh, I want the bike. Yes. The bicycle. The collapsible bicycle. Alright, now what the hell else is out here? What are you? Another M416. If you had the option between the 416 or the M16, which do you go with? I don't think that's a real door. Good. Vast. Is that... That looks like a... Oh, it's a shotgun. Eh. Eh. Some rounds, no shotgun. How are we in terms of the map? Okay. There I am. I'm not gonna do the gasoline. What are the odds? Just remember that I said that for later, so you can be like, oh, I remember, what are the odds? You said, what are the odds? Is another one of them that you can't get in even though it's just slightly too skinny? Fuck this game. <laughs> just don't make windows that are slightly too skinny. Why? Why would you do that to me? Oh, this is, this is an old house. They put... Scorpion? I've never... Is that perhaps a... Handgun? It counts as a handgun. What does it take? I've never seen this. 9mm, probably? Yeah, 9mm. Okay. Cool. And yeah, give me the health. Um, man, it's really dark in here. But yeah, this is an old house, and that's why it has the bullshit windows on it, even though it's in a new map. This is one of the houses they just ported over from the old shit. Okay, red dot on the scorpion. Jesus. I like the scorpion. Give me some fucking 9 mil, and I'll use it. Two's the M16, and that's the other one. Okay. I've already been in here. I've been in all the places. If I'd been in all the places, I would have picked that up. What are you? What are you? It's like too dark on my screen. I should also let you know that because of my light sensitivity, I have the, uh... I have a lot of stuff turned down. I have the brightness turned way down in comparison to what you can see. I can't see that. So this is a sniper rifle, right? Yeah, that's the Dragonov. Um, yeah, I, I think that would be cool. I think the Dragonov... Uh, along with an M16 and this little scorpion, if I could find some fucking ammo for it. Everybody's got your red dot sights, I don't need that shit. Um, I can reload. And, oh! Fucking this bullshit game. By, you know, one level 154 asshole, cheating, sniping. <laughs> Completely alone, no sound of anybody. Nobody dropped down anywhere near me. And then we get a stormtrooper here. I was gonna, I wanted to play with a new gun. You prick. Okay, we're gonna watch that again, and you guys are gonna tell me if oh, they're cheating. No. Okay, watch death cam again. Watch very carefully for how they go from not looking at me to being directly focused on my head. And then you guys tell me whether or not we report them. I'll tell you, I'll tell you my, my estimation. Uh, my estimation is, nope, that was fair. That was fair. See, what I'm looking for is 
before the player uh, went into scoped mode, they had already put their crosshairs on my body, pretty much already on my head kind of a thing, and then they hit the scope, and then we're looking at the right thing, and then they take the shot. That's fine. That's fine. That's for real. Um, but you really, like... I feel like just playing this game in the era of it being free to play, you're becoming, you gotta become an expert, uh, at, uh, what is and is not possible. <laughs> um, you know, at the point where I'm looking at, okay, well, where were they aimed before the scope came in? That's where I am now, because I have seen so many fucking cheaters. <laughs> And so many incredibly good people, and the line gets to the place where you gotta blur it, and it's like, well, I would rather report and be wrong. Honestly, with the number of cheaters that are up here, let, uh, you know, I pass, pass it along to a professional. Let them figure it out. Let's do TPP again, even though I'm gonna be FPP. But I do feel better about... Uh, you know, if I've got a, a question in my mind, I'm probably going to err on the side of reporting. At this point, anyway. When I first started off uh, coming back to the game, I was very timid about reporting, and I probably let a few cheaters go, and that's how I've gotten to this point, is that now I've seen enough of it to feel like, God, I let that fucking asshole off because I thought that was possible, and now I know, no, that wasn't fucking possible. <laughs> Now I'm, I'm more prone to say, oh, I'm going to pass this upstairs, let them figure it out. But yeah, now that we're playing on stream, this is the worst that I've, I've played in, uh, you know, since I came, since, <laughs> since I came back, honestly. Like by now, if I show you, and I'm not just saying that, we could go to uh, career while we're waiting and match history. And yeah, I mean, this is, is this specifically TPP or something like that? But you see what I'm saying in terms of, yep, bullshit death, but then, you know, whatever, third rank or something. I can't even read that. It's too small, but you know, bullshit did good. Bullshit eh, died in the middle. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, not so good, not so good, not so good, boom, boom, not so good. So, like, this is, we've played three rounds? Three or four rounds. No, four, our first round I immediately got killed, didn't I? Yeah, it's right here, 76, 26, 76, 71, and look at, look at, you know? It's like, I should be hitting, um, being killed early occasionally, and getting killed in the middle. Uh, but I should be hitting those top ranks pretty frequently. If I were playing on par with how I usually play. We're still just waiting here. You know, we weren't. We weren't out of queue by looking at the career stats there. In fact, as long as we're not out of queue, I don't think we are anyway. Uh, what else we got? Here's my KD, point 0.3. I'm up from point 0.2. <laughs> Point two used to be my standard, and I started getting some, some more kills then. Okay. This, this is going to be the original map then, right? The thing is, I'm always trying to get the, the pop. And basically, you've got to, like, kick it and then jump. Like, from where you think you should hit the button. If you hit the button at the moment that you think you should hit the button, you've already... You'll, you'll end up just jumping over it. you got to run into it and then jump, and you can get that little upward kick instead. Original map going vertical. What do you guys want? Pick it out quick. Huh? School, shelter, Pachinki, Rajak, Yanisaya, Polyanava. 
Pollyanna. Yashna, Yashnaya Pollyanna. Somebody calls something out, and that's where I'll go in the direction of and then turn off as soon as I see someone. <laughs> to the school? To the school, then. Give me the big one. Am I going toward the school? I am. It's somewhere out. Oh, it's right there. Lots of people go to the school, so you're you're just getting me. You're ruining my my ratios here. I presume anyway. I presume a lot of people will be here. I seem to fall a lot faster than everybody else. I don't know what's wrong with them. To be perfectly honest. <laughs> Just slam yourself in. Uh, I'm looking for gun-shaped things on the ground. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's really fucking dark. Uh, helmet four times. Wait a second. Smoke. Half grip and a duck bill, don't need it. I don't need melee. Remember that I said that later when I'm like, God damn it, if only I had melee. Compensator, quick draw, stun grenade, and a different gun. I'll take it just to have a different gun. Because I think that was a sniper rifle. Oh, I've got something. Right? No? I'm still screwed. Condor70, good morning from the Netherlands. Good more good, good... I guess it's morning here, too. It's, uh, coming up on 2 a.m. Maybe next. Oh, hello. There's the dragon off. Um, by the way, I don't think I've ever gotten a kill with a sniper rifle. Nonetheless, here I am, celebrating that I... These are none of the things that I wanted. You just, you just picked up none of the things that I wanted. What have I got here? 5.56 five, and 7.62. I don't need the 9. Yet, anyway. Uh, 762. An AKM. Some health. Uh, thank you so much, Condor74, the subscription. I'm playing PUBG. What year is this? It's a good question. It's a good question to ask. More health. You know I'm gonna need it. And. Yes. Now I need the 9, though, right? No, 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 no. Don't stand in front of that window. Three. I so infrequently use the pistol. And a better helmet. Oh, hello. And the best med kit. So that's a real med kit that uh, I believe, even though we're in single player, that with that med kit I could um, pick myself back up. Ooh. I think I want the vector. Nine millimeter bullets, which is so... They're like fucking BBs, but still. I can at least full auto a man if I see him in the hallways of the school. There's just more bullets. Nope, there's a frag grenade in there too. And... Red dot? Wait, what was that? There was a gun here, wasn't there? Well, I guess it was just a folding stock. Incoming artillery. Uh, no, I want the soda. And some bandages. Hey. Rugs. Yeah, M416 too. Uh, what have I got? I got the quick draw. Yeah, no, I want the extended. Did I swap it? I did. Extended. You. Drop you. More you. Uh, reload. It's a sniper. Is it a sniper? Yeah, it's the dragon off, right? Yeah. I can't remember what I picked up.
half grip and a four times scope. What have I already got? I don't know, I'm picking it up anyway. Some bandages, what have I already got? Four times and a red dot, I think that's what I want. I can drop that extra scope later. I am out of the zone and now I'm out of space. What could I drop? That extra scope later? Well, if you're dropping a scope for something, pick up the soda. And then... No, I think I'll just hang on to that stuff. Anything that, you know, is actually good here? There's a gun on this table. I have to stand on the fucking table to find it. It's the mutant. I don't want it. Which direction do I need to go? Oh, good, that way. Ooh, on the basketball, on the gym. It's still pretty far off in the distance. Can I uh, hold anything else? That's another four times. Um, can I get the first aid kit instead? No. Oh, it's another one of these. Um, there's no way to like split shit in your inventory, is there? Frags, smoke. Actually, like a lot of extra bullets, and I don't shoot. Yeah. I wasn't sure if this scope zoomed. And more health. Boy, I don't like having to cross this with all the shooters out there. I suppose there's a uh, vehicle somewhere. That's just Shadow, right? <laughs> I got him. Headshot. <laughs> Car. Car distant right. This just sucks for how I like to play. Which is not at all. I don't want to have to play. Just making sure that I'm only hearing my own footsteps there. Hey, Pawn, how's PUBG? You know, it's the same bullshit that it always was. <laughs> but I like it. What the hell is this supposed to be? What facility is built like this at a fucking school? Was there something that it's like, you need this? No, fuck you. I got all kinds of equipment, I'm just putting off the this. Having to, uh, you know, run the, run the gambit. Alright, let's do it. Uh-oh. Fuck is he? Fuck. Fuck. Alright. 
there's a guy out there that I heard running, and I know where, you know, what field he has to cross, and he was just not there. I wonder if he, uh, dropped prone when he heard me coming to kill him. Oh, good, I'm running into a, uh, blow-you-the-fuck-up zone. I think I'm just gonna wait. Is that a person? <laughs> I'm so frequently saying that in this game. No, there's no movement there. Like, yeah, I'm in the blue, but, you know, as long as I've got pills and soda pop. The fuck was that? Love having audio glitches. This is what I was waiting for. where I'd be right now if I had to cross this gap like that guy just did. And this was going on. And now I would start running up the hill. To try and stay ahead of the blue. Again, that weird audio glitch from my left. Alright, before I leave, I'm going to, uh, recharge on the, uh, yeah, the energy drink will be enough. Okay. Just gotta run it. And I gotta run directly toward the edge. Take the vehicle? I think I shall. I've got so many of them. I just gotta get it straight though. And I don't like to drive straight. Remember when I was saying earlier you need to uh, serpentine? You wanna stay alive? Just tap it to a straight enough place and then. No, I can just interrupt it. Alright. Get me somewhere. Oh, fuck, I don't want to go into Pachinki in the state that I'm in right now. You kidding me? I am stopping at the nearest fucking location. And I'm making the assumption that I'm safe in here without checking it because I need to get a fucking first aid kit in me. There we go. And they left me more soda pop. Uh, I don't think I need more bullets. Ooh, that's a nice rifle. It's a Ted Nugent gun. And there's nothing there that I need. Some bandages and a Molotov. I don't mind. But I do want to keep uh, going, now that I've got some health. It's maybe not through Pachinki. Yeah, 
the outskirts. See? Yeah. Yeah. Hence the uh, shifting and the uh, changing of speeds. And the. Yep. A little bit of snake tail in there. What do you call that? And yes. We are 16th. Buildings ahead. I don't need no more buildings in my life, honestly. I like this spot. Seems like a nice shade. got out of his vehicle. Which means the best thing I could do is get back in mine. He went over that hill, got out of his vehicle. And there goes my, uh, my car. Yeah, I can hear him got back in his vehicle, see? I know what these players do. Oh no, maybe this is a different vehicle. Damn it. Okay, I don't know what these these players do. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> uh twelve, and we're gonna see, you know, it was the guy. Up the hill from the fucking dune buggy, still. That's what I bet. The guy from the fucking dune buggy who parked over the hill and thought, oh, he'll believe that I went away, that I didn't fall for, and then motherfucker, like, just decided to keep fucking tracking me. Nope. Dude in Jeep. Are you kidding me? It was the guy that I was... Trying to follow? This isn't. No, because he wasn't close enough for that. That. I think I might have to turn the um, the sound thing back on because there was nobody this close to me. By the sound of their vehicle. Yeah, I'm going to turn the sound thing back on and see if I start doing better that way. Because that doesn't, uh, that doesn't figure from my experience. Uh, let's spectate the, the end of this round. <laughs> it must be a U.S. school with all the guns. Yeah, that's just, they're not even exaggerating in this game, really. I knew exactly where you would be. Yeah. Um, I would have to believe then that he saw me get out and try and target him while he was driving away, but, uh, boy, the, uh, the distance, the amount of distance that uh, his vehicle, it didn't sound like it was anywhere near me. He sees this person, but he's not going to go after them. TPP, like, throws me off so much, too, to just think that these people can 
see from a perspective that's four feet above their fucking heads. And that they play this way. <laughs> like, I am really bad in, as a shooter, uh, shooting them guns in first person perspective, but holy shit. You don't have a grenade to throw, dick? Uh, holy shit, with, in TPP? I'd say it's a ten times multiplier on how bad I am uh, at shooting. You let that guy just walk away, and now where are you? Now what? Now what's your life about, huh? You got the corpse of somebody else sitting right there, and you're going to tell me you don't have a frag grenade? They didn't have a frag grenade? Come on. See him? You see him? Okay, well, I guess, uh... No, you got a fucking rifle on the other side. Why didn't you... You're just gonna stand upright and do this? Guy to your left. You did have a fucking... You asshole. Oh, no, this is... All right, I thought it was a... <laughs> Frag. That doesn't seem too smart to blind yourself with your own uh, with your own flash gun. I don't, I don't think that was the way to go. I would I would have done that different. <laughs> One of the cheats too that's harder to detect if they are smart about using it is uh, you know just being able to see through walls. Uh. This guy's level 251 and he's naked. And he doesn't use any... He doesn't have any, like, skins or anything. No clothes, skins, level 251. It could be, like, he thinks it's funny to look like a noob and be this good, or it could be that this is his 27th account because he's a fucking cheater and they keep finding him. And, uh, so he doesn't bother, you know, having any skins that you would have to, like, buy, and, and that kind of a thing. You know, he plays the game every goddamn day of his life, and he doesn't bother with supporting the game in any way financially. You got him? You did get him with that. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah. King goes off. How do you mega jump in this game? Apparently, you go to the old original map and you try to get into one of the windows and it'll just ping you off. <laughs> I think I misunderstood that whole thing from the beginning, but hello, King goes off. But yeah, if they're using it well, then you won't know that the wall hacks, which is just, you know, it can draw a red square around the position of any enemy that's nearby or of every enemy on the map. You know, and you can set it up. I think they can configure it so that it's, like, an enemy within 100 meters, 200 meters, so that so that if somebody's reviewing the footage, they'll be like, well, maybe maybe you heard them, you know, in, first. And then you try to the area. Suck my sock. Wins it. Beautiful work, suck my sock. And they won it with no health left, too. Well, his name is Sir Wiggle Dix. Yeah. <laughs> Let's report him. <laughs> I, I really should show you the feature, too. You know what? Let's take a break from actually playing the game. Um, now that I finally got a half-decent, like, ranking out of one of our rounds there. But still, I should be in the top ten, you know? I shouldn't go, like, five games in a row without hitting top ten. And I mean that from a statistical point. So as a matter of pure statistics of my performance to date. Uh, you know, average 36.4, um, but more so match history. You know, it's every other one of these should be placing top 10. But today, woof, woof. 
Um, but yeah, let, I'm, I'm going to show this off because I think, you know, a lot of you guys, you haven't seen PUBG in a long time, and uh, you probably have not seen replays. Um, so let's go to that, I don't know. Let's go to 23 hours ago. This is the one that we watched at the beginning that I made a recording of, I think. One way or another, this is a pretty fucking epic feature. Um, although it's a little bit jank. Everything in this game is still a little bit jank. So if I hit J, and I get the timeline here, and I can put on kills and D, B, and Ds, which I presume is downed but not dead. So if you're playing, you know, with people, uh, and you got shot, but you went down, but you got back up. Or even if you're alone and you get shot. No, that med kit didn't help me. I had those med kits. I thought maybe if you're alone and you've got the super med kit on you, then you can revive yourself. I don't know. But uh, anyway, let's go to this point in the match. Just before I get a kill. And remember, I'm going to separate myself. Remember what we watched at the beginning? Me and this guy have been chasing each other around all day. And here he is. And I can just go around and see, you know, anything and everything that was going on at the time. You know, well, he's over here. Where's the button, that one? I'm over here in the back of this house. I can hear him moving around. I know he's there. I'm waiting for him. Waiting to see if he gets shot at, I guess. So if... and now he can see me. But I have a shotgun. So. <laughs> pretty cool feature. Pretty cool uh, replays thing going on here that I could go pretty much anywhere in the map and see what was going on. Uh, like, here's a player, and it's probably a bot. There's a lot of bots in the game. What are you doing? Yeah, it's probably a bot. It's interesting to watch the bots, too, and see, like, how they behave, and then you get a better idea of what you can get away with when you're, when you're, uh, dealing with the bots, they, um, they watch you, uh, based on sound, or, you know, they track you exactly based on your footsteps, I'm pretty sure, and then when they go to shoot, most of the time they're just incredibly bad shots. So, here's somebody. That doesn't exist. There's no one home in that, in that body right there, I presume. <laughs> Wasn't there a tactic to lower your graphic settings to see players hiding in tall grass and other cover? Yes, there was, Dramasian. And I hope that they've, like, addressed that in all the years since that being an issue. I haven't thought about it much. I just put my graphic settings up to high and went on with my life. Um... more shots being had. But yeah, this is just really cool. That you get a free cam, you can go anywhere in the world, and you can snap to people. Here's the list of players. Uh, and if we go by who's still alive, survivors in this match, I was still alive at this time. I can click on it, and boom, we're in my perspective. And I was playing in first-person mode, even though this was a TPP match. If we go to... I think... Who kills me? the end of this round. I feel like I recognize none of these names. We go to Dream Rider here, and you're suddenly watching another player. Hit J. Take that away. It's really cool. The replays is really cool anyway. And it also lets you, if you think you've got a cheater, um, you can go back and see if they were cheating before they killed you, too. You know, you can really, really analyze a cheater's gameplay by just going to the replay and saying, oh yeah, look at him, he's targeting someone through a fucking wall from a mile away. 
Yeah, that guy's fucking cheating. Let's play exclusively first person uh, from now on. Because that's how I like to play. So let's make sure the other players aren't... Uh, don't have an advantage by... You know... Hovering a camera over their shoulder. Sir Wiggle Dicks. Mm. Killed me. And then... And then got himself killed for... I don't know. Like, I know it's the end of the match. You want to be quiet and not, like, let people know what your position is and stuff like that. I get what he was going for, but come on. I, I just don't think that that's the way that you play that at that point. The guy's right there. You're on the edge of the blue. It's not like people are coming up from behind you because the blue is really deadly by that point in the game. Like, that's the one where you just, you kill him. You kill him quickly, and then you fucking move, you know, you loot him and then move the fuck out of that area because, you know, you got time for it what I'm saying, anyway. I have no idea what map this is, by the way. Ooh! I got a ping. Um... I do occasionally just go, fuck it, let's play aggressive, and that's how we got that really good fun match that I showed you at the beginning, was I said, fuck it, let's, let's play crazy. You know, let's play the way that, you know, makes the game fun, as opposed to the way that I play it for rank. <laughs> I find both of the ways fun, or else I wouldn't do it. Is this the... the really small Middle Eastern map? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like this. So this is going to be... I believe this is going to be a 64-player round. And you see we're still waiting for even a timer to start. Karakin. Um, and that's going to come down because... Probably because they couldn't find enough players uh, to match me with right now. So they picked out... I don't know. Maybe it's just you randomly get these maps. I don't like these maps because... They force me into a position of confrontation real quick. And if you, you're playing the game for hide-and-seek more than, you know, Call of Duty, then, uh, then a quick confrontation usually just means a quick death. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Like, I can't remember. I, did I... I looked something... No, that's not it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh, God! No, 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 no. Yeah, you're gonna see just how small this map is now. Like, typically, on the regular sized map, you get out of the plane, and if you really... If you really angled it, you might be able to get out to here out to here and you got to do a little bit of pulling back and stuff. I'm going to mark to go to there. Because that's how fucking small these maps are. So out and to the left. Yeah, look at how small this is. Lots of people going in the direction I'm going, but I can go further than they are, so I will. I'll go all the way out to this stuff up here. And at least give me a couple of seconds to try and get some equipment. There you go. Okay. I actually like the look of that better. Here it is. In terms of, like, immediate need. Not a lot of ammo for it yet, though. Okay, we got a scope. We got a little sight, anyway. Ooh. <laughs> Mortars. Give me the energy drink. Uh, another holographic sight. 
Well, it's some ammo. Yep. This is the thing. Give me the pan. Nine. No. Did I? Okay, this is the same. It's the same gun that I picked up. <laughs> picked up the same goddamn gun. How are we doing on being in the circle? I'm in the circle. All right. Time scope. I will take that for a better gun later. It's just the vector. I'm going upstairs then. But there's no upstairs. I thought that was stairs. <laughs> uh, UMP45. If you guys got like recommendations on the guns that you're seeing, ooh, there's some sticky bomb. Uh, and what you would say I should pick up instead, you know, feel free. Okay, that was not a extended clip. It's a quick draw. I do have a scope, don't I? Put the fucking scope on something. AKM. Drop the sight. Yep. I can't shoot for shit, so fuck it. <laughs> um, I don't think I've got, like, a scope that's reasonable for trying to shoot at that distance anyway. That's not a door, apparently. I presume this facility has a door. God damn it. <laughs> that made me jump. That made me jump. I hate these fucking rounds. I hate the small, small maps. Um, uh, let's death cam and then maybe even spectate. Find out who killed me. Level 148. Here's me going. Oh, I meant to change my audio settings. Yeah, because I can't even tell where I'm going right now. He he had a hesit he had almost as much hesitation as I had. Um yeah, fuck the spectate. I forgot to change my audio settings. We're gonna turn the um H R T E F, whatever the fuck it's called, back on. <laughs> Before I forget again. Uh huh. What do I get for that? 110 XP. Hooray. Um, so settings, audio, turn the H R. I was right. I guessed every single one of those letters. And I got it right. Mm, uh, FPP, yeah, first play. Um, that might be a thing, too. Maybe there's just more people play TPP, and that means that uh, a third-person perspective, and uh, that means that I won't get shoved into a 64-player map as frequently. It's another consideration. Ooh, pretty quick in. I came around that that corner and saw the outline of that man, and uh, and I feel like I immediately started hitting right, but I must have like walked around the corner just a little bit because I didn't move, and so like I was just gonna not be standing there. I wasn't planning to face off with him or do anything. Um, but I just ended up fucking standing there, and then he guns me down, and it just ends up, like, really, it made me jump, because I'm like, I can't move! <laughs> Back to Rondo. I mean, that's cool, it's the new map and everything. Might as well. And we got into a, a match really quick here, too. Be thankful for that. 
Uh, pick a place. Where you want me to go? Fong Tan. Well, you won't be able to say Fong Tan, but Dan Cheng, Yulin, you know, Stay sta, Stadium, uh, <laughs> Lo Hua Jing, Meg Ryan, Mu Ho Ban, uh, Ray Ann, Nunchucks, Honky Town. You tell me where you want me to go, and that's where we'll go. <laughs> Uh, M Mulan. All right, where's Mulan? Shit. Mulan? There it is. We'll go to Mulan. It's Mehran. <laughs> Come on. You know, you gotta have fun with whatever the word is. Hey, God. Am I even going in the right direction? I am. Okay. okay we're going past Lo Hua Jing. If I, I don't know. I can do a little Korean, a little Japanese. I don't know nothing about no Mandarin, no Chinese. Are we alone? Uh, King Kong's a tough. I might take take this as uh, inspiration more than destination, because we're at like a resort or something. I couldn't quite get all the way out there. It would have been. Hell of a parachute. Um, I guess I'll pick you up now. I don't have a lot of pocketses, you know. There we go. There's some pocketses. All right, we can we can shotgun. You know we can shotgun. And a six times cut. Oop! Is that a pad? Cheek pad for a sniper rifle in case we come upon one of those. Vector, Vector, Vector. Ooh. I'll have that. Except for I need to swap out for... It's a vertical foregrip. Yeah, I'll take some. What do we got here? Uh, Ace and a Tommy gun. There are certain guns I just never pick up, and I don't even know if they would be good for me. Because I just never pick them up, and Ace is one of them. Tommy gun I've picked up in the past. Hello. Is this an automatic rifle instead of the one that I've got? Or I mean an automatic shotgun? Sure as shit seems that way. I don't need any more shotgun shells. They take up a lot of room in your backpack. This game is a little bit almost too realistic about that stuff. Yes, thank you. Oh, hello. Ooh, quick loader, too. Is this my... Yeah, that's your automatic shotgun. All right, take a second. Um, and six times scope on this for now. I guess that means red dot sight on that. All right, let's keep moving around. There are, like, resort rooms somewhere? Or is this just a temple? Yeah, I'm thinking of a different spot that has, like, it's similarly laid out, but it's more for tourists. A four times scope. I don't know that we need that. An eight times scope. Boy, if I had a sniper. I could, you know, just embarrass myself with not being able to shoot anything, even though I had a sniper. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, I think I just swapped a vest for a vest. Flash hider. And... Extended mag. Okay. In terms of being in the circle. Meg Ryan was beautiful. In fact, diverting to here. Look at that. We're in the middle of the circle. And everybody will be coming to up. Oh, shit. I better hide. <laughs> no. Don't you keep doing that. Wait. Which is which? I, I need to not have a scope on my um, shotgun. That's just confusing me. Oh, you know how much I like a little gun. That might be a... pistol. Maybe counted as a pistol. I don't need no fucking scopes. Uh, 
Yeah, more 45 for the handgun. Sure. What are you? The Kaboo? Uh-oh. I hear people. I did not do that. Yeah, there were people over there. A person. At least an person. What the hell was that? I don't even know. I'm a little spooked. This could be a bot. I can die to a bot. Yeah, it's probably a bot. Smoke won't help. God, they're just, they're over there. That's all I can tell is that they're over there, and this is the part of this mode of, like, spatial audio that I don't like. Is that it's, like, oversensitive. And so they're, like, miles away from you. but you're hearing them like they're just a bit over there. It's just ammo. I'm just gonna keep circling. Yeah, the bots will uh, hear you, and then they'll just kind of stand outside, and um, like they'll stand in a certain place that's nearby, and just like stare at the sound of you for a while. So that's why when something actually stops in my vicinity like that, I'm like, eh, it's probably a bot. Doesn't mean I'm immune to dying to it. Or it could just be another player who's, you know, chicken. As chicken as I am. Heard me running around and decided to take up a spot and just not move. There's a gas tank right there, so I don't really want to be fighting <laughs> fighting anybody <laughs> from that spot. I 
I don't really know where that shot came from either. Still in the white circle. I guess that's a thing I don't have to worry about. Okay, so if this is a player, I can't imagine they're good. You know? So what I'm gonna do is uh, go into pro move version. You know? Where you uh, just keep moving. I have to imagine that they can't hit shit. Okay, they're on wood now. There it is. There it is. Yep. Hi. Right. Okay. Had to have been a bot. Um, what else you got? Anything, anything, anything? Alright, I'm out of here. I got a kill! Hoorah! Popping a smoke grenade while I'm standing right next to it. It was a, uh, it was a bot. I'm still kind of half looking for a sniper rifle. I'm sure I've been around here like a thousand times now. The Kubu is not a sniper, huh? We do have crossbow here though. Yeah, I can barely shoot with a fucking shotgun. <laughs> Let's get real, people. Well, now I'm like snapped into you know move mode. You hear all the fucking key work I'm doing. <laughs> There's that vector we got. There's no reason to, like, go anywhere other than here. We're in the fucking center of everything. And I guess these are, you know, good enough guns for me to finish out the round. By which I mean die soon when people start showing up here. There's no, like, indoor, indoor areas. So I don't know that there's anywhere I would hide. Hello. This is a pretty good hiding spot. Huh? Alright. 28 left alive. I'm in the bamboo. And uh, we're camping. Because there's kind of nowhere... There's no reason to leave. It was a good call, King Kozatov, sending me to Meg Ryan. Oh no, it was Dramacine who said Meg Ryan. I'm sorry. Aim low? Why would I aim low? Sweet chariot? Coming for to carry me home? Look at that. We're still in the place. Very good call, Dramacine. Thank you for sending me to Meg Ryan Town. Me and Tom Cruise love it. Right? <laughs> Did you hear something to my right? I mean, this is boring, yeah. But, uh... I, there, there's... Why would I leave this position? Honestly? I should fucking tuck in. There's no meat reason for me to be looking for shots. And then he starts looking for shots. Just kind of... If they drop like a red fucking box on me, a supply crate, <laughs> that'd be fucking awesome, huh? Okay. Dude in a buggy. Coming from there. Ish.
I'm just trying to follow where the sound would be. I drove far off into the distance. It has no interest in Lo Hu Zheng. Lo Hua Zheng. Lo Hua Zheng, maybe. Lo Hua Zheng. Shen Zhen. <laughs> I am out of water, too. 20 left alive. We've hit the top 20. Kind of grenades. I've got just smoke. It's kind of close. Say like that. That line. On the 305. That was just our east. People throwing grenades out here? Why, why? Rick O. J. Yeek? And Rel has? Yeah, there's a lot of action going on. Out that way. It sounds like it's in the blue, too. And we've got another white space contraction, and here I am just living like a king. 16th left alive. Living like a king sitting in a bush. Ready to scope you with my fucking shotgun. <laughs> Three times scope on the shotgun. Oh, hey, I forgot. Eight times on the barrel. Eight times on... Oh, eight times won't go on a mid-range. Somebody's got a bike. It's my right. I don't want to move, because they were close enough that they might have been able to hear me move. Yep. To my right. On foot now, to my right. But they ran away from me. I could go out and try and kill them. It's a real player, too. I don't think the bots know how to ride bicycles. But I would like to get into the top ten before I risk anything. Well, we're getting closer. Keep doing that good work, Iron Cat TV. I killed a bot today. <laughs> Come on, you two, shooting at each other. Somebody, somebody get the kill. Eleven. Okay. One more. One more and we hit the top ten. Everybody loves to watch a guy sit in a bush and do nothing. Right? In not even ranked mode. Like it matters. Listen. The game is hide and seek. It's fun. Hit something with that grenade. You're gonna shoot it. I presume it's a grenade. Come on. Ooh, that's close. All right. I'm in the top ten. Now I'll start taking risks. Watch me go. <laughs> Damn it, we're not in the safe zone anymore. When I hear somebody move past, I'll chase them down, kill them.
Come on outside the walls. It's very nearby. Very nearby. Damn it. <laughs> Missed my chance. Missed my chance. Seven left alive. We're in full auto mode. Oh, there he is. Damn it. That's why we don't play shooter game. <laughs> we play hider game. There, I got my first top ten today. Uh, let's spectate. Ooh, level 27. So we've got a good chance this is a hacker. Did you see that fucking snap? This is, this is very likely a hacker. He's looking through shit. In fact, he might have just, like, realized that I'm watching him with the spectating. The way that that fucking snapped in directly on the guy from a thousand miles away. Like, the dude was tiny in his sight and it went straight to his fucking head. Uh, Bob said, wait a minute, you're that Apollo Legend guy, aren't you? That went from being a Buddhist to having your place stolen? <laughs> yes, I am that guy. Hello, Bob said. How am I doing now? I've got uh, myalgic encephalomyelitis. I'm bedridden, and this is my first live stream in a month. That's <laughs> things are going great. <laughs> uh, it's good too, though. Yeah, but look at that. Look at that. That is that is absolute auto aim. I mean, I say that as though it's true. Um, I'm saying I heavily suspect auto aim on YYGG. Um, and my first suspicion was dude is level 27 and ripping shit up, which means he probably had an alter, he had another account, it got banned, now he's had to make a new free-to-play account and start rebuilding, and so he's level 27, but, you know, so it just, it, there was the immediate suspicion because of his level, level, and, uh, and then we were watching just like, it just snaps to him like he's got a fucking auto-aim. Like he's playing with a controller on a game that has auto-aim. <laughs> Shinzen Young? I am not familiar. I'm not aware. Uh, is that obviously a, a Zen personality? A Zen fellow? I'm a member of a, a certain Buddhist community online that, uh, I, uh, I come and go from it. Uh, I don't know that I necessarily want to affiliate with it publicly, so that's why I don't really name it. <laughs> I, I think the monk who, who's heading it up has, uh, very good intentions, um, and is is coming along in his Zen practice, but uh, I think he's coming out of a very Buddhist place right now. And, you know, there's, there's a big difference between um, the sort of religious Buddhist perspective and uh, the Zen perspective. Okay, so, hmm. 
The guy in the fucking ghillie suit who got the red was sitting here not moving and let this guy walk in and gave him that much time to shoot him? That's kind of... what? American Zen Buddhist that is uh, working to combine Buddhism and science. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, yeah, I don't know that, that particular. Uh, I do know I'm uh, familiar with another American Buddhist who, uh... Um, pardon? Pardon? Par was he just, was he just aiming through the wall at the guy? Did he have an aim... Um, through the wall, and then he tracked walking outside of it. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and just, uh, cheating. Player seem to use auto-aim is, uh, is enough there. Um, I think we should go and look at that round and watch YYGG, uh, for the rest of the round. I mean, you know, for some of his other kills anyway. Let's investigate this hacker. <laughs> this presumed hacker. Because I... You know, some people are really good at this game, but I've watched people who are really good at this game, and they don't, they don't snap to a fucking headshot lock, <laughs> and they don't aim through a wall before they begin aiming. That's not usually the way that that goes. But hey, we got a kill out of that round, first kill of, of the session there, uh, and my... I got a level on the gun. <laughs> Excuse me? Why did you do that twice, game? I mean, I appreciate it. You can keep doing it. Go ahead. I'm not complaining. I got to seventh there. Um, but yeah, let's investigate this YYGG. Uh, so career, replays, and the one we were just in. That's gonna be fun. Number seven is not bad, even if you did get killed by a hacker. Yeah! Yeah. And, you know, I got, I managed to kill a bot. <laughs> managed to kill some AI. So, let's see. Um, I don't know how this works in terms of finding people in a list, but I need to find YYGG. I haven't seen him yet. It's WYWY. And I believe this list is based on, like, proximity? So... He has to jump out of the plane and I have to see him before... Before he goes away. So there's me getting off the plane, but that's not really... Relevant. I'm looking for this YYGG fella. Um, follow the plane. Wait, no, the plane was going this way, wasn't it? Uh, if I go to a different list. Distance. I can't read any of that because I got it all grayed out. I mean, maybe I can see it enough to pick out YYGG. a lot of people. I, and if it weren't in gray, I'd have a lot better luck. Alright, go go to me right now. For now. Uh, I don't want that up. Uh, can I... Like, there's a button for increasing the player camera play. Those are the player tags, but I don't understand why you would do it this way. I want to find a specific dude... who was in the round, and then I want to track him. So at this point, I think what I have to do is just, you know, go and find players. Which apparently this is not the place to be. Do I only have a recording of the people who were near me? That's probably the thing. Alright, so then let's go. I, I get it now. 
maybe I only have a recording of people who are in this circle around me at any time during the game, and that way they don't have to record every single thing that's going on. I get you. So then, when I die will be the time. Let's go, uh, Ronan Pawn. Uh, so, number one, here's my kill. Let's confirm that that dude was a bot. So I'm going to pause it. And where's the bot? We are in first person. This is a real person. Dude. Dude, though. Chukaster. I think this is a real person because bots don't have a first person perspective. Oh, no, okay. It's a bot because it doesn't have a first person perspective. I just, you know, we were in a spot where its third person camera was shoved down in a way that I thought it was, um, <laughs> was a person. So this is just the kill that I got. I wanted to know that it was a bot. And it is. Hence the running around me for an hour without it attacking or approaching. And then when it finally is here, it decides to throw smoke. Um, right, so back to me, because what we want to do is go to when I get killed. Should be near the end. There's WWGG. So now if I uh, snap to WWGG, this is WWGG. Here's all of the kills of theirs that we're aware of. Let's go back to here. Well, that looked pretty uh, sloppy and not working for a hacker. Okay, well that was that seems like a fair kill right there. Let's see what this one was. Oh wow, I had no idea you could move like that. Hmm? I mean, some of this seems natural, but also you gotta bear in mind that uh, the game doesn't show you exactly where they were actually aiming, um, the way that it records stuff. Uh, and... I don't know, I really thought the dude was wall hacking, too, but this is suggesting that he wasn't, that he's not wall hacking. And then again, the way he's moving right now. I don't know what all of the hacks are. I could imagine that there's some that use the game's audio information to, like, I don't know. This dude parkouring around the fucking place. No, I could believe all of these as not being hacks. Now remember, you can turn off hacks at two. That's right. So he could be running around without hacks, uh, and then slam them on at the beginning. Remember that this is supposed to be a level twenty-nine player. <laughs> I think, right? Isn't that the thing? Let's go to his next kill. He's just sitting in a corner now. Are you looking at equipment, or are you just chilling like I was doing? I mean, it's fair enough to be chilling. In this map at this point. That was me. He just killed me there. Uh, let's watch it again. And that was two headshots. Uh, 
and his his reticule was not on me when he hit me with a headshot. By the way, uh, I went to slow. I slowed down the the time there. Uh, let's go to the next kill. I think we saw these before, but let's watch them again. And I'm slowing it down. I mean, he's shooting someone who he can't see through a shadow on a leaf in real time. We're watching it in half speed. And he just got that kill. He just got that kill. just went straight to the fucking head and he's tracking through the tree and then it's that shot that kills him no it's this shot right there that kills him and it's like you can track you can expect someone to continue moving and track them like that but holy shit i don't know i don't know about that uh i'm playing at half speed still by the way uh back up Let's go to his next kill. And this is just the one where dude in ghillie suit who has everything is just sitting in there listening to this guy walk around. And my problem with this isn't uh, our guy. It's this. Dude, you got to You probably have a fucking, you know, M2, whatever the fuck it is that fires a million rounds a second. You're sitting in the corner. All you had to do in the world is wait for him to open that door and appear. And what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, you do start shooting, and you do hit him, but this guy has already hit you with a headshot? Is that what we're seeing right now? I got us paused, his reticule has not made it to the head, and yet he has hit the man in the head. I don't know, whoever this guy is, oh, you're a level 36? This guy's a genuine level 36, and he just got really lucky and got the ghillie suit. <laughs> That's my thought here. Uh, and uh, and finally, the the kill that wins the game. Wow, that was a fast reaction, huh? Is that... Did he hit? Did he hit with that shot? That's just the glow from this guy's gun. I... I... Alright, hang on. Let's, let's back up. And I'm gonna pause. Okay, go. And then pause here, and we're going to 0.25 speed. This is quarter speed. Ready? Take this out of the way, and go. We are at quarter speed now. Dude on the hill takes a shot. He immediately knows exactly where that sound came from. He hits him with the first shot. He locks in, snaps to him, and hits him with the first fucking shot. Holy bullshit, Batman. Shot him in the ankle a bunch of times. And bear in mind that the um, that auto aim is not perfect either. If somebody's moving, auto aim has to try and predict where they're moving, what direction, at what distance, all that kind of stuff. And depending on how much money you pay, you get a better auto aim, <laughs> I would think. But uh, you know, for for these hacks, uh, uh, that's what I've heard anyway. I would just find it and download it. I mean, if it's a hack, it's out there. It's on the like. Are, are you afraid to pirate from the people who are making I illicit software? <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. There's a couple of kills in there that are just fucking insane, including the first shot that he just got on that guy. The first shot that he got on that guy. Look at this. He takes one shot and he's hit the dude. I don't know. I've seen some aimbot settings set to make it look as legit as possible with just slight boost. That's true too. You can you can tone it down 
so that it helps with your aiming and it moves it to a certain, you know, circle range around him kind of a deal. That is really hard, hard to believe. I've already reported it, so this is just the post-game analysis. But, you know, you put that in the perspective of, like, this back here. We're still at uh, quarter speed. He was playing, you know, he was throwing a grenade. He did that. He threw that grenade to distract the guy. He's moving in. Uh, he doesn't seem to be, like, wall hacking to know the, the dude's exact position. He just had a chance to see him out of the corner of his eye. And, he reloads. and those are completely legit body shots. No need to explain that with auto-aim. But uh, that was also not a sniper round. He was not clicked into a sight. So if his aim bot only kicks in when he's sighting someone... Huh? that's a thing uh it's just fun to like track these cheaters down and that that i i feel majority you know like uh someone was saying earlier um i can scroll up and and see somebody was like i'm 60 percent now or i'm more than 50 percent sure at this point and i'm definitely on the uh i can't be certain maybe he's just incredibly good but the fact that he's got a noob account noob ranked account level 29 uh, and he's playing at that level, um, and he's hitting shots, he's doing shit like aiming through a wall before he moves, you know, out of cover, and then the dude is, like, pretty much right there where he was gonna target anyway. I, I'm definitely saying, yeah, that's a cheat. So we've been here long enough to pick up, uh, some more loot crates. Let's go open a couple one at a time, just for the fun of it. Well, I'll, I'll bring us down to 15. Cheer 100, probably some fat man child living in his parents' basement. <laughs> hey, don't insult the... No, go ahead. Go ahead and insult him. I don't know. 15 credits. 15 credits. 15 credits. I don't know what any of this is really useful for. Um, if I go over to crafting, that thing that they said I would, I got, I, I don't have. I don't have the thing that they said that I got earlier. You know, they said that I had a imprint, that I had unlocked it by opening things, and it's it's not here. It's not here, unless it's under artisan crafting, which I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be. I don't understand how this works. Smurfing? I think uh, that he um, got banned because they caught him cheating, and he just started up a new account and started cheating again, because it's a free-to-play game. You don't have to, like, link it to your Steam account. Uh, so it's just easy to keep cheating. Let's take a live stream break. I need to pee and grab, fill my water up. Um... And since I don't have any of the audio here, I can do that fairly easily, can't I? Yeah, I can just leave stuff open, no muting necessary. Uh, have a look at Detroit, by the way. We're going to take a seven-minute break, long enough for me to pee and get something to drink and meet you back here, so you do that as well. Um, I'll play a little bit of music in the background and see you back here in about seven minutes. Don't go anywhere, pawn not out.
Tokyo 3, I'm going to Japan tomorrow. Twitch.tv slash Ronan live stream on Twitch.tv slash Ronan Still, oh god, getting situated. Ah, ooh, that was a, uh, that was a song that I was, I, that was just a recording of me tinkering with a song that was like, you know, decades ago or whatever that I wrote. Uh, oh Jesus, I need, my, my makeshift pop filter is gone, I apologize. I could use this. Hang on. New makeshift pop filter. That seems to. Okay. Maybe I'll just try and not breathe directly into the microphone. How's that? <clears throat> um, but yeah, I had a, a number of ideas for you know a song that was you know, so I just put them all down in a simple recording. That's the kind of thing that I play now during the live stream breaks, because why not? Welcome back. We are playing PUBG, uh, shockingly, and Mickey is here. He's always here. <laughs> and that's what's behind that. You haven't been able to see that the whole time. And you're not going to, because we're going to keep chat up unless you guys complain. Uh, Bob Santa, if you're still here, you were asking some Zen questions. We got all off track. Uh, I got all distracted by, uh, by cheater. <laughs> by cheater analysis. Was he a cheater? Wasn't he a cheater? We, we all get to, you know, have our own opinion, but boy, in terms of clicking the, yeah, I think this guy is a cheater button, I don't think that there's any, any room for, for saying, uh, no, <laughs> at least to clicking the button, you know, and letting someone who knows what they're looking for decide. Uh, but Bob Santa, if you're still here, um... You had asked, uh, what had you asked? It was, what was the most interesting experience, something like that, that I had had at the, uh, at the, uh, monastery? Um, hmm, and, uh, most interesting experience at the monastery, uh, in terms of, like, See, I could answer that any way that I want to, actually, so, you know, um, I could say, like, my most interesting meditation experience, my most interesting off-the-mat but meditation experience, I could just say my most interesting experience that I had, so whatever works for me, um, uh, I think, uh, I think what I'd say is, uh, when I was entering the monastery, before I knew that I was going to enter the monastery, my master, my Zen master, um, who, you know, I'd been practicing at the temple for several months at that point, uh, had actually moved from where I was living in order to be closer to the temple so I could attend it more often because I had found, you know, this dude who didn't have a gaping hole in his soul that I could smell and hear and feel like everybody else has, uh, and that I had as well. Um, and so I decided, you know, I'm going to stick around this guy until I figure out what needs to happen so that I can have that kind of peace that he has. 
Um, so I had moved close, um, but I wasn't a monk. I wasn't, um, you know, I was just coming to services like three, four times, pretty much as often as they would let me. Uh, I was not having to force myself to come. I was, you know, very excited for the opportunity to practice uh, at the Zen Center. Don't do that. Where am I going? I've generally got the right direction there. Uh, and so uh, they had a meditation retreat. And uh, the uh, most senior student, my, my master's most senior student, uh, a nun, although we called everyone monk. We didn't say nun. Everybody was a monk. Uh, if they were ordained. Didn't matter gender. Um, she personally invited me to come to this retreat and said that uh, the, the Zen master had specifically requested that I come. And uh, I don't tell that story. I don't tell it like that because I, uh, I want to be like, yeah, he saw my potential. I tell it because I don't believe it. I think that, uh, that my, uh, <laughs> that the senior student, um, said that in order to get more people to attend and, you know, threw that information out to a new student. I don't begrudge her having done that. Uh, ooh, a flare gun. I've never had a flare gun before. That's fucking cool. Um, but yeah, I think that that's what was going on there, but, <laughs> uh, ooh, and that's a sniper rifle, isn't it? Immediately. But so I was invited to it, and it was a seven-day meditation retreat where, obviously, you know, the entire thing was meditation, regardless of what we were doing. If we were preparing food, we were preparing food in meditation, which we were doing that quite often. So I've got a sniper and an MK-12. That, that could do me for the round. I don't need to make anything, do anything different than that. What the hell did I just pick up that wasn't the thing that I wanted? And adrenaline. Oh, no, that is the thing that I wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna leave, wait, pick the ammo up anyway. All right, I'm going down. Sandstorm has started. Darude is here. Uh, oh, Jesus. I had no idea. <laughs> that's, that's pretty brilliant game design right there. So my, um, my most, yep, yeah, I'm out of space. And now I'm not out of space anymore. My most, um, you know, interesting experience at the uh, Zen Center at the monastery was uh, the one that I entered on because about three days, maybe four days into that retreat, um, shotguns, you know I'm good with one. This is, we're keeping this armament, I think, unless you guys tell me, no, for God's sake, don't do that. Yeah, so just pick up ammo and make your guns better and get heals and you know life goes on uh, four times scope on the sniper good um, so the experience upon which I entered the Zen Center was was after four days of sitting there and meditating for reals oh I want to keep the flare gun that's, that's whatever maybe it even calls something down or something you know it's not a weapon you fire it up and then you get like a ammo drop or I don't know what it does uh, after three days, uh, three, four days of meditating constantly, I went outside, um, on one of our, like, 12-minute breaks where we were encouraged to go outside and, um, you know, catch some, some sun rays because we weren't doing that sort of a thing. Where do I need to go? Just a little bit south east, huh? Mm -hmm. I might as well. I picked up a bunch of pop. Drink some pop. So the experience upon which I entered the Zen Center was I went outside um, on a meditation break. And while I was out there, a small boy came kicking a soccer ball up the street. And um, I was standing there in my gray Zen robes for our meditation. And, uh, you know, I had about 12 minutes kind of a thing. And the kid kicked the ball 
somewhat in my direction. I don't know if he was trying to get it to me or if it just happened to come in my direction. Um, but I saw the ball, and I... There's, there's a moment that's hard to describe where it's like, I was aware of myself as a person who is in a situation, and the situation is that I am at a zen retreat, and I am wearing robes, and this is a very austere kind of a thing that we're doing right here, and I wouldn't, for the life of me, you know, it, obviously you don't, like play soccer with a kid at your austere, keeping your, your meditation, all that kind of stuff, I had this moment of recognizing that that was in my mind, and then I kicked the ball back to the kid, and we played soccer together for like 10, 12 minutes, and that was the experience, uh, and then the bell rang to call, you know, all, the, all of us back to the meditation, and I said to the kid, they're calling me, uh, so I have to go, and then I went back inside and we did the meditation. And that was, like, the trigger moment of my first experience of, like, a partial awakening. Um, I, in the process of playing soccer with this little kid, in this situation where, to me, it felt like you don't play soccer with a little kid in this situation, I recognized that the part of me that had that feeling of, oh, well, you don't do that in this scenario, was uh, my past self. It was my idea of myself that I, you know, was carrying around like an albatross around my neck that would have withheld me from having a wonderful time with a kid who happened to kick a ball up my way um, while I was here, and all I had to do was kick the fucking ball back, and this time, for once in my life, I didn't listen to the fucking me inside of me, and I kicked the ball back, and, you know, that experience was just the same experience of if I were also a little kid, um, and we were just kicking the ball back and forth, and that's what was going on for exactly the amount of time that that was going on, and then when the bell rang and I was supposed to go back to the meditation, I went back to the meditation, and then that's what was going on. And it was just perfect freedom, and in that moment, the uh, chain of past self broke. I broke the chain of past self. I experienced, uh, you know, what it was to not be defined by everything that had come before and recognized and, and directly experienced my own actual fucking freedom. Um, and that was it. That was the most, that might not be the most, you know, interesting or the most something experience, whatever, but I chose that one because I thought that it might, uh, it might be the most, um, actually useful to you. After I said that it was, you know, I can pick whatever I want, I immediately recognized, okay, so let's pick what would probably be best to tell here, and that's what I just did. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the one that I wanted to share, because, uh, it's a simple little thing, and anybody and everybody who, uh, who you've ever heard, you know, any real master who you've ever heard talk or speak or write anything. God, I want some of this stuff, but I keep looking at my inventory. I don't even know what that kind of grenade is. Fuck it. Uh, who you've ever heard talk about Zen and about awakening and about, you know, what these experiences are, they don't describe them as, you know, mind-blowing. Oh my God, something, something. I mean, if they do, they're kind of just trying to get you on board. The guys who are being straightforward with you. Uh, you know, Shunryu, Suzuki, Roshi kind of a thing. These people tell you, it's, it's, once you have the experience, you become a less interesting person, you know? Like, you, you're, because you just become normal, you become casual, you become uh, fucking comfortable in your own skin and all the crazy things that you did. You think about, like, uh, the story of, of, uh, of the original Buddha, of, um, why am I blanking on the name of the fucking of, of Siddhartha Gautama Buddha? Oh, why am I? Yeah, you should probably stay in the. Uh, all right, you know what? Keep running. <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine. This is fine. Welcome to fine. Um, you think of the story of, of, of Siddhartha Gautama Buddha, and before he, um had peace before he had awakened. 
what was he doing? He was all these ascetic, crazy ascetic practices and all this shit that he was going out in the fucking woods and beating himself up and only eating three grains of rice a day and all that kind of thing. That was that was him, this crazy man, trying to make sense of a world that, you know, he, he, he was crazy at that time. He was friggin' psychotic, and that's what it took in order to, like, drive him over the edge and get him to realization. But once he had realization, he didn't do any of that shit anymore, <laughs> you know? He... he in fact, the, the main major realization of his asceticism was this asceticism thing was just more self. This is also stupid. Why am I doing this? Uh, and he left the, the forest and, and took the maiden's milk and probably, you know, slept with her too, because they, they don't tell you everything that happens in these stories. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, part of his awakening was, wow, I've been really fucking crazy out there in the woods, haven't I? This is kind of stupid. Why was I doing all this? At least that's one way of interpreting it. I don't want to tell you the way that things are. Um, but, you know, I'm saying that the people who I trust, uh, in terms of... in terms of wisdom and whatnot, um, they have not left me with the impression... That's kind of a sniper rifle, huh? I've already got one, Pawn. Uh, how do they compare? Oh, stay down. Uh, so, you... Uh, mine has better effective range, so I'll stay with it. Because I've got all of a four times scope. Oh, how useful it will be. Hey, bullet loops, too. Cool. Oh, and apparently... <laughs> okay. I picked up a <clears throat> extendable mag at some point. Wow, I'm being really stupid at this point, because I'm just kind of chatting. In terms of the gameplay, anyway, not, not my best moves. But yeah, the, the experience of, uh, oh, you just won't give it to me, I got you. The experience of awakening, uh, is not, you know, the people who I trust, they don't say that, oh, and then you'll be able to do fucking magic, and, you know, you will push the tides back with your bare hands, just as the Buddha did, you know, that kind of shit. No, no, no. You will be at peace in yourself. You will understand, you will be, you know, normal. <laughs> It will be the most normal human being. It will be the most human human being that you could possibly be because you won't be fighting the truth anymore. Yeah. What did uh, my teacher say about what? Oh, uh, did my teacher say about my experience? Um, the way that it went down, I was a little bit still, like, you know, starry-eyed about my teacher at that point. So in terms of what I communicated to him, I ended up communicating to him that... Um, one of my fellow practitioners had heard the story, like I had told them what had happened, and that they had said, oh, that's called Samadhi. I think that's what they said. Samadhi? Or is it Satori? I don't know these these Japanese Zen words. Um, but he described it, you know, one of my fellow practitioners said that, just another young kid, um, but who, uh, he was Hmong, and so he probably had a little bit more, like, just basic cultural inherited knowledge kind of stuff. Um, and uh, he gave me that, and so when I approached my teacher, what I approached him with was, um, you know, so-and-so said that I experienced Satori, or... Yeah, I guess it would have been Satori, right? Samadhi is the, is the more... You know, it's like, whatever idea you have about what these experiences are, it would be better to just throw away the words and not even think about it. They're just going to you know, leave you with the notion that you know what, what a thing is, and you don't. You don't. And the, the more, if you have that notion in your head of, oh, I know what Satori or Samadhi or fucking Enlightenment or Awakening would feel like, well then, you will find what you are, what you think you're looking for. You won't find the real thing, but you'll find what you think you're looking for. And we are not in a great situation in terms of where we are in the blue. I've got several first aid kits, though, so I can keep myself alive for a while. It's just, can I keep myself alive long enough to cross all that? Mm, did they see it as a breakthrough, too? My, In fact, okay, my master said to that, he said, uh, when I said that uh, this other guy had told me that, you know, that was Satori, this, these are my master's exact words. Satori. We don't give medals out for partial experiences around here. <laughs> 
That's what he said. This son of a bitch. The old son of a bitch bastard. I mean, I don't know. I, I, there's, he wasn't very good. I, I, I gotta say this about Hulse and Sunim. You know, I gotta acknowledge that. I don't, I don't think he's, I don't think he did as well as he could have and should have in terms of like rewarding people and giving them a reason to, you know, stay the long haul. I think, uh, I think he had some, I think his experiences with trying to train me probably gave him more uh, perspective on that, on the need to, you know, reward people and give people reasons to stay around, and his policies were were more toward, he had made uh, one or two monks early, uh, after he had, uh, you know, been given the authority to do that sort of thing, once he had been made a teacher. Um, and I'm just saying these words because my brain has trouble remembering the actual words. Um, once he had received transmission. Once he had received transmission and he was teaching and stuff like that. Um, he made some early monks that, uh, they didn't stick around. He didn't want to be an American monk in a Korean lineage, uh, you know, serious Korean lineage who was, you know, making making young monks who didn't really respect what they were doing there and who weren't going to stick the long path. So his uh, first change to how he was going to handle things was to require his students to stick around for at least seven years before he would give them the first ordination. And for, for reference, in, um, wow, they are just right over there. I don't want anything to do with that. Um, for reference, the, uh, in our lineage, the usual way of things would be six months. Six months, you, you serve as a hengjinim, uh, which is basically a monk that's not a monk yet. You know, you're, you're a kid. In, you're a child in the in the thing, and you've got six months to see if you really want to make this commitment. Um, and then you would be given a uh, a low monk status, which has been described to me as equivalent to I'm definitely being heard right now, and somebody's gonna fucking shoot me. Um, would be the equivalent of uh, being engaged. You get a you get a monk role that that is ostensibly you know you're engaged now to become a monk. But you're not married to it yet. So if you walk away, it's still like okay in Korean culture. Uh, and, you know, it, it's nothing too disrespectful. Uh, and then you would eventually get the full the full monk status, the bhikkhu or bhikkhuni, I believe. And that is like being married. You have married the monkhood now. And if you walk away from it at this point, that's that's a scar on your, you know reputation in your community is the concept as i understand it and my master kind of went off of that trail because he had a couple of early you know experiences with unserious people and um so i was there for three years and never stopped being a hangjinim and i think that uh he would have done better with me and uh i would have you know come back quicker uh or come back at all uh, after, uh, they sent me away, uh, if he, uh, yeah, I saw you. God damn it, we almost made top ten, too. Uh, if he would have rewarded me a little bit with some of those, you know, honorifics, you know, it, it's the kind of thing that you want to give to young people when they're coming into the monastery. You want to give them enough to keep them, you know, keep them feeling like they're doing something. Here, go ahead and spectate this. Like, they're making progress, even though, you know, in Zen, we're very much focused on, uh, the, there is no mountain. You're not climbing a mountain. If you think you're climbing a mountain, then that is what you're doing, but you're wasting your time climbing a mountain. We're not climbing a mountain here. <laughs> it's not a number of gates that you open up, um, by, uh, you know, practicing, uh, yeah, there he is. Um, 
you know, you practice for a certain amount of time and you get better as a meditator. And because you got better as a meditator, you start to experience this. And now you've opened that meditative gate and then you open that meditative gate. And then by the time you open the 12th gate, you've, you've enlightened. That's not it. Um, at least in my practice, uh, you know, we're, we're focused on the idea of sudden awakening followed by gradual cultivation. Uh, it's as again, Shinryu Suzuki Roshi, I think says in his book, um, meditation or uh, enlightenment is uh, an accident you you fall into it sort of um, and the idea of meditation and mindfulness is that you are you are engaging in an activity that makes you accident prone and I really like that I really like that um, I think that is the way that you should come at it because if you're expecting to clear a certain number of hurdles and then because you've done that now you experience the awakening or the enlightenment or whatever that's just getting in your way because you're creating ideas of where you think you're going and what you think you're going to find when you get there and as i've already said if you've got an idea of what you think you're going to find then you will find that thing but that thing is not enlightenment that thing is not awakening that thing will not be you know your peace It will not be understanding of the one important thing. And I'm sure Bob Santa had to leave while I was still talking, now that I look over and see chat. <laughs> but hey, uh, freeze on wisdom for the, the other rest of you. <laughs> Did you get that gun off me? That gun looks familiar. That gun looks pretty damn familiar. Checking to make sure they haven't cleared that tree already. I can tactic. I can absolutely do the tactic. Um, I just can't shoot. <laughs> uh, I don't have, like, the, the kind of... Uh, uh, hand-eye reaction time. I I'm a speed runner of a number of games, but when it comes to this kind of twitch shooter shit, I just don't have that kind of hand-eye reaction time, I guess. I, I, I also think that there's, like, a correct way to, to set up your, um, you know, your controls, your technology, your mouse speeds and shit like that. I think there's a correct way to do that. And uh, if you don't have the correct way, then you can be good and it's not really going to help. But I don't think I'm good and I don't think I've got my technology configured the way that it needs to be. Now, what I would have said if I wasn't talking about other things is that I thought that, that guy's um, tactics sucked right there. He had taken a shot at a guy who was advancing from that tree, and then he, you know, let that guy get out of his line of sight, which is, that happens. That's not the tactic thing I got a problem with. I got a problem with you staying right where you were, because the guy who is advancing knows where you were, and you're playing a, a stupid game there of like, well, he'll probably assume that I moved, so if I don't move, then he'll assume that I'm not here. It's like... If you move to any other place, he has no idea where you are. But if you stay in that position, he has at least some idea that you could be there. So don't stay there. Um, and if I could shoot, then you might... <laughs> good night, Bob Santa. Thanks for sticking around. He was too good to leave. All right. Um... I, I got another 13 rank. I think that's two lucky number 13s for me so far. And at this point, I'm thinking that I need to eat something and take some of my pills. And I want to. I don't want to take the pills without eating something. What does that earn me? Nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing out of that except for you know disseminating the 
wisdoms of the universe to seven, eight people in the middle of the night. <laughs> um, and I still don't. What the hell do you want from me, game? Huh? It would be right here, right? Is that the thing? No, that's not the thing, is it? It's you? If they don't put the thing on. Yeah, my daily supplies. 120 minutes in total. We have not been in the game for two hours. I guess I've spent a lot of time tracking down cheaters. <laughs> Stuff like that. Um, let's do another round. I want my, uh, I want my two-hour in-game loot crate or whatever the fuck I'm getting. I don't know. I'll hold, I'll eat a little. You know what I could do? I do have some chips here. I could crunch chips into the microphone. Live on the stream. Huh? There you go. We get these, uh... Kettle cooked original potato chips uh, from Kroger. Um, and in this household, they're known as the cancer chips. <laughs> because Lady Pawn <laughs> said that these chips, she looked into them after I said, Wow, these chips are really good. I really like those. Keep buying those chips. She looked them up and found out that they cannot be sold in, in California. Or I guess that they have to come with a label. If they're sold in California, saying this is known to the state of California to cause cancer. So they're the cancer chips. Um, they say that because uh, anything deep fried is cooked at such a high temperature um, that the Maillard reaction, M-A-L-L-A-I-R-D, but, you know, it's French, so it all turned into Maillard. The Maillard reaction um, kicks in. And, uh, you know, one of the effects of the Maillard reaction is that uh, it makes shit utterly delicious. And the other effect is that it becomes carcinogenic and, you know, cancerous to some degree. The other big thing, including potato chips and kettle chips especially, I think, um that uh, that suffers from that is coffee. Coffee beans are roasted at an incredibly high temperature very quickly, and they get the Maillard reaction, and so coffee is known to the state of California to cause cancer. <laughs> I presume, I presume it would be, unless like the coffee consortium has convinced California to collaborate in their conspiracy and coagulate the carapace of cor correct seizure. <laughs> damn it. I keep breathing into the damn mic. Okay. We're in the winter round. Did you guys hear where there's, there's a train station in the winter round, so... I'm going to the train station this time because it was requested last time. I don't think I'll be able to make it. There's also, um, gondolas or ski lifts, I guess you could call them, whatever. They're the big ones, though. They're the ones that carry multiple people and stuff like that. Um, verniculars? Verhicular? Car Caracas? <laughs> Quit breathing into the mic. Okay, I'm getting out and going. Is that the train stage? Where am I at? Yeah, it looks like that's the train station. Alright. I'm going to get to see what the train station's like. Probably with 152 other people who would also like to see what the brain trains. There's the train. I don't know that I can make it there from here. We're going to be running a bit. It looks like there's a spot where I could stop and get something there. Is that true? What am I looking at? I don't know. 
I'm gonna get real close. This is gonna work out fine. Nobody else will have gone this far. Especially when a train spawns and runs me over. Right about. <laughs> Alright! Nice landing, huh? I'm a pretty good parachuter. This game gave me kills for parachuting well. Alright, I can deal with that. And I can deal with that. that. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Uh, I've never been here before, so I don't know where I can or should look for weapons. I can deal with that. <laughs> I think you just keep saying that you could deal with... You keep making that declaration. I can deal with that. Here's a gun. That was not the gun. That was presumably a piece for the gun. Thumb grip on the mutant and a holographic sight. I think those pair pretty well. The mutant is, I mean, you tell me an eight time scope. Let's find a gun that an eight time scope will go on. You guys tell me. Hey, extended mag. There's a vehicle coming toward us, I think. And a tactical stock. Um, I presume the mutant is a high rate of fire kind of a thing. Although only carrying 20, ooh, I'll take you, only carrying 20 is uh, not a good indicator of that. I would expect there to be more. Yeah, red dot sight. Yeah, I'll grab it for a handgun or something if we find one right here. What is that? G36. Small high rate of fire. SLR has a good effective range. I don't know that it's a sniper rifle exactly. Not a lot of damage done by this thing. Uh, eight times scope will go on it. Maybe the mutant is, is different than what I think it is, too. I don't know. Uh, wait, what else is here? Nothing. Keep moving. Back to the mutant. Canted sight. It tends to just get in my way, honestly. And a four times go. Alright. Sounds like the train's coming in. And a suppressor. Some bullets. What are you again? You're an SKS. Trains here. I wonder if anyone's on it. We could go shoot them. If they were. Or we could get on it and go someplace else. I am outside of the, the range. Can I get on the train and go someplace else? Oh, it's pulling away. I probably could have. to catch the next one. Restricting play area in five seconds. Well, I'm sure we'll be fine. Actually, yeah, it's going to take a while for the blue to come in at the train station area. So, I actually would like to try and um, take the train out of here. I think that would be neat. If I get the opportunity, hells yeah, I'm going to do that. While we're waiting. It's just ammo. Is it? Yeah. How much ammo do you need? For a man who doesn't shoot? None, actually. None is the amount. You know what? I'm alone out here. Um, let's put the... What kind of, you got a tactical stock, not a heavy stock. Good. Um, let's put the four times scope on this instead. And let's find out what this mutant's about. Uh, it has a burst or a single mode. Well, now I know what I've been hearing a lot, anyway. I know that sound very well. 
I've always wondered, what kind of fucking gun is that that sounds so, like, low? It has such a low tonality to it. And apparently it was the mutant. What is this? Extended mag for the uh, SR? Twenty-two rounds for the sniper rifle. Man, the guy who kills me is gonna be just fucking set. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's about right too. Didn't find a handgun, a pistol. Six times scope. I don't know that it's necessarily helpful with the mutant. Uh, and probably I should have the mutant burst mode, because I'm using it for my short range, regardless of the, if that's how that should be used. And we've been all these places and seen all these things, and we've got enough bullets. I'm just I'm mainly, you know, interested in a pistol. Another six times scope. Holy crap, this place is awesome for gear. I could have a mortar... I'm taking it for granted that I'm safe out here, and I'm not going to stop doing that either. I'll pick up the gas can. Fuck it! Uh, let's, let's make sure the canted sight is... yeah. So the canted sight allows me to do this. Maybe it's on this one, then. Yeah, it allows me to do this. So I can shoot with the dot, or I can snap into that. Which I should probably keep it like that for now. Okay, when's this train coming in? Because I'm starting to worry about the blue. Blue's coming. Also, keep your keep your whatever the fuck this gun is handy. Nope, I will take that. Let's see what's on the bridge. I get a feeling that what's on the bridge is my death. Man, did I pick up like a level three? Uh, backpack here? I've just been picking up so much. There we go. Just as soon as I say it. It's just more ammo. So I have another drink. Come on, train. It's coming for me. Everything's coming for me, train. I'm getting rid of the four times scope. That makes room for actually more soda. Is there more soda? I don't know, but the train's here. That's the important thing. It's to not miss the train. It's fine. And there ain't gonna be nobody on the fucking train. That's helpful. Yeah, I'll have one now. We're in the blue. Well, I don't think this keeps my shield from going down. You see I've got that little blue bar underneath the white? And I think that's, that's basically your free, free blue shield. Where are we going? Is it helpful to me, where this train line goes? In theory, yes. In theory, we will go up here and I'll be in the zone. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. Choo-choo! I'm on train, PUBG! <laughs> I'm on the PUBG train. Um, there is a bit of a giant, horrific storm ahead. Blocking the, blocking the path. I'm sure this will be fine. I will be nothing but okay here. That's what that sound was. That beeping? That was the sound of me being okay. <laughs> chugga, 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 chugga. This is, this is genuinely pretty fucking cool. About to exit the blue. 
ridden the train. There's a car. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Is he going to chase me? We're, I'm back in the blue. Okay, but we're going to stop up here ahead, so he should chase me. He really should. And I should be, like, back here. Seeing if I can't target him. If only I had some kind of sniper rifle. Okay. I'm having a good time. Oh, but I need to get the fuck out the blue. I could stay with the train. It will eventually take me out, but... Probably we start moving here. the train. That's the same sound as somebody throwing smoke. That's what I was thinking. Right, I'm putting the gun away because it's getting away from me. I need to run faster. Energy drink. There we go. If I die in the blue, it was worth it to ride the train. Ride the rails. Another, um, the way that it makes you cold to be in there. Yeah, seems like that's somebody in the blue. Which means they're willing to shoot at me, too. Instead of going where they need to go to get the fuck out the blue. <laughs> I like that pattern. That's, that feels good in my hand. Do it that way. <laughs> Yeah, now we're really struggling to stay healthy. I need to get out, get out to fucking blue. I didn't miss a car, did I? A vehicle. Anyway. I'm heading for the Combine Harvester. Because I've got a brand new one. I'll give you the key. Uh -huh. It's a bit of a waste of a first aid kit, but I've got some extras. Let's have another painkiller. <coughs> don't want to. That's the thing. Yep, here we go. Gotta run. Put the gun away and you might be able to keep up with it. Wow, look at that. Doesn't really matter what's ahead of me. <laughs> Alright, I'm just ahead of it now. <laughs> If there's anybody out there who wants to shoot me, they're going to shoot me. And they will probably be that way. Yeah, I want to come in. I'm looking at the map now. I think I want... Yeah, this is the direction I want to be in. Okay, I'm in the blue again. And this hill is really going to fuck me over. and keep as much shit between me and their sight lines.
if anybody was following me. Good fucking luck, man. Oh, hi. Thanks. Thanks for this. So I gotta keep moving anyway. Yeah. No, whatever I picked up. I wanted that. Thank you. Holy. Okay. Yep. This is what we're doing. That is the wrong way, Paul. I'm a good driver. My dad used to let me drive to the fucking end of the driveway or something. Brain Man reference. I'm trying to stay alive here. Drive into the storm. Saw that rock ahead of time. I'm on the edge of the storm. Leave me alone, game. In fact, am I walking in? I was trying to walk out. Almost off town. I do not like moving across just a big white open plain. I know exactly what I look like right now to them. <laughs> There's not a lot I can do. Shop. Now, painkiller. I'm still not in the top ten. Somebody kill somebody who's not me. All right, I'm in the top ten. Now we can die. Look at, like, spots where, if I were out there, I'd hide. Those guys just seem a million miles away for the sound. We got 50 seconds before the blue starts moving. It's just a rock, right? Thirty seconds. Yeah. Who wants to be in this? The blue is starting to collapse now. Six alive. Six left alive. I mean, number six.
more left. New survival zone. Got a minute before it collapses. Just checking on my needs. Sounds like the mutant. This could be the thing that gets me killed. Ten seconds. It's gonna collapse very slowly on my side. I can walk with it. Three alive. crosshairs on a dude again I'm like in that situation where I'm like I swear to god I was squeezing it while I was still alive but bullets just don't come out <laughs> I made another top three anyway um can we spectate report exit the lobby no so I guess it's already over they killed me and I killed them let's watch the death cam then or no they killed me, and then someone heard them and killed them that quickly, potentially. That's that's as good as I ever do, is right there, pretty much. I've, I've made a second here or here or there, but I'm usually the third guy on the virtue of my sneaksing. And then the two people who presumably know how to shoot. Hmm. Well, he didn't immediately die. I'm not going to try and spectate because it's probably over and then that'll just kind of break the game. Um, in that I won't get my screen that I want to get where it shows, you place top three, good job, pat on back. Which is here. Uh... Number three of 98. Level up. Get a new thing. You didn't shoot anybody. <laughs> That's my goal. Uh, and we still have not played long enough for me to get the, the damn with the daily supply and the 120 minutes. We have not been alive in a game for two hours, despite the fact we've been here for four. Uh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. That is definitely the round on which we end the show, though. Um, make no mistake about that when I press that button, that there we go. <laughs> That's the one we end on. So, uh, what are we doing in Detroit right now? Being, being five in the morning? Is it five in the morning now? No, it's four. Okay, it's four a.m. We're being four in the morning here in the city of Detroit. On a vampire sleep schedule. Thanks, everybody, for coming out and watching. Uh, hello to the people on the VOD. Uh, as you can see, I still cannot shoot, but I know how to tactic, I know how to move, I know how to sneak, I know how to hide, and that's the kind of fun that I managed to get out of this game, even though, you know, other people think that you're supposed to shoot each other, and, you know, the guns, and then you bang bang and a pop pop and then the man's dead and then you get xp that's not how you do it dummies friggin dummies i am the ronin bolt <laughs> and uh you might have been able to tell that uh this live stream i had the kind of energy to be able to talk to you for 
like a lot. Say a lot of words. I had air, air enough to speak, and I had mind enough to continue speaking. And at no point here did I suddenly see flashes of light in the side of my eye, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have a seizure afterwards. I've been doing very well the past couple of days, and uh, and I'm I'm starting up some new supplements to see if I can't even help that some more, and maybe we'll have a little bit of a you know remission here that will allow me to do some things like I haven't been able to do for a while one way or the other one one way or the with your mother I am the Ronan Vaughn I'm not but we'll, we'll keep pretending anyway I'll see you next time Vaughn <laughs>